I mean, Lucy isn't here actually. just yet. Oh, hello, Lucy. She started it up. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Emily has started oh. the stream. Hey. We're also recording. Do the recap. Last Sam. time on Legends of Aldoria. <laughs> Last time on Legends of Aldoria. <laughs> I scared an accent. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, go chronologically from the beginning of last. The last session. thing, that, one of the last things. Yeah. That that was the last thing. That's the structure. Last thing. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen. Moonstrider came paralyzed. Oh, that he was. Walked through a forest. I ate shit. I pissed off a massive shade. Theba, and not Theba, I'm Theba. And Scott Dugray had a soul bond. Air quotations. Soul bonded hey. to the tree. Yep. Soul bond. Yeah. 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 So that's my that's my top year intro. <laughs> <laughs> I will, I'll have to do other family functions for you. you Welcome ask. to bottom gear. Welcome <laughs> Your to bottom gear. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. I might get into my onesie first. That's the biggest bottom text intro ever. It might be a onesie and chill session. I do like set the bar very well. Mm. That's... <laughs> mm, no, it's fine. I think you it covered... It might be a session where <laughs> I chill in oh. my onesie. Diabo almost ate shit and ended up in... Yeah. I almost... <laughs> almost, almost yeah. Diabo <laughs> almost... Yeah. Yeah, that was... I almost just ate it. That Dear was funny. Okay. Yeah, the yeah. demon almost died. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I know, I think, uh, uh, thank you very much for Samantha. that. Samantha. Very weird. Uh, <laughs> <whatever> that was. <laughs> Till then, so welcome, back, welcome to the stream. And today we got another session of Ro Legends of Aldoria. Woo. So then, my fine demon. Well, team. stream or recording, because we're recording as well. Eh, whoever's bloody well watching this madness. <laughs> Welcome. I hope you enjoy a couple of hours of us very weird people doing what we love, which is... Dun playing Dungeons and Dragons. Thank you, Zach, for being very enthused. <laughs> Killing shit on our heads. Alright, everyone except Gig takes... <laughs> <laughs> I did damage sponge for a little bit. <laughs> Alrighty, ho ho, people. <clears throat> As we left off, some idiot tried to piss off a shade. <laughs> Honey. Door. Give me one moment, let me, while I close the door. Oh, I forgot how zoomed in this map is. Ah, uh, Put the wood go. against it so it doesn't open. Oh, yeah. I should probably make sure that my temporary hit points are. Righty ho ho! Up. Dudes and dudettes. People and monsters. And gig. <laughs> <laughs> and gig. <laughs> little dragon. He's just a little dragon, but he's good. He's good. <laughs> oh yeah, for those that like wanna see what gig looks like. I'm just gonna okay, show the stream what it. gig looks like. I've just got to find my next uh, character as well, so I assume he's going to be very similar. Yeah. <laughs> um, I will... Righty ho ho. What? So, after taking a long rest, some of you more invigor feeling more invigorated than others. Uh. Hold on. <laughs> let, me, let me show you. This. I'm going to show the stream what this gig looks like. So yeah. while whilst you're doing this. Okay. So then. What do you guys wish to do after having a lovely long little rest? Hmm. 
think. So does anyone have any? Uh, can we ask uh, the um, druid for uh, directions to this dwarf village? Dwarf village? Um, we would get, provide you with a map. Uh, uh, yes, get my us bad. there. Yeah. Um... Mm -hmm. This is why I should do VCAS because I remember this stuff. <laughs> Thank the you. critical information. <laughs> Yeah, I think it'd be quite a good idea to go to the um, dwarven settlement, whatever, because I've got a shit ton of money to spend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> of course you do, you lucky bugger. Yeah. Okay, that I won, that one's worth. Yeah, it's a good thing Gig was functionally comatose. <laughs> Otherwise, would Gig have lost all their money? Um, I I don't know. I genuinely don't know. He <laughs> has never gambled before, so we do not know. Or have they? Here we go, guys. We do not know. <laughs> right, so, yeah. I do believe our beloved gig, Theobald, and Gig were conversing. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Sorry, this is the wrong music. That's the right one. Yeah, this is the right one. Yeah. That was playing earlier. I was watching uh, I Aliens 3 and that was coming through whilst uh, I was editing stuff. There we go. <laughs> they can see Gig now. And only Gig. <laughs> what? All is gig, and gig is all. Sh show them the <laughs> goddamn map. Fine. I know you like gig's profile pic, but still. <laughs> <laughs> all right then. So first target of the session I mean, must be gig. <laughs> gig is adorable though. I know. So I'm all not right. gonna intentionally. Right. I'm not gonna intentionally kill anyone. <laughs> yep. Yet. But Yet. the cooling off period is over. Yeah. You yeah. did say I was one of the characters you were the most sure was going to die, so yeah. now I'm very scared. <laughs> Just whatever you say. Please oh, yeah. don't try and predict everything because it'll end up really badly. Oh, I'm going. I'm. Um, I, 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 I was like. Semi to do the tree and get the gold while he was distracted. Because, like, I mean, actions have gold. consequences. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Next, actions next have time consequences. you won't. <laughs> <laughs> you got some golden experience you'll never forget. Uh, speaking, uh, <laughs> speaking of which, Gig has hidden a map from Theobald, and I don't know how Theobald feels about uh, this. Yeah. So, we're going to start the session off by continuing the little interaction that Theobald and Gig were having. Okay. And then we're going to move on to Misty and the Druid. Misty what? Yeah, okay. So what was the map that we saw on? Yeah. Go on. Uh, so that three rod bit, he looks gig in the eye, but he's wavering. He's like, it's just a piece of paper. He begrudgingly takes the the map out of his bag, but he doesn't unfold it and show to Theobald. He says, um, this is where I come from. I just don't know how to get back. Mm. Well, I'm not home anymore, so it must be nice. Do you not have a place to go? Not anymore. I was cast out by the actions of a certain man. Then why not come with me? Okay. <laughs> 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 he 
Easy as that. <laughs> Ignore cult leader. Easy as that. <laughs> <laughs> well, all it takes is a, is a warm smile from a very cute all, looking creature, can't yeah. they? All it takes <laughs> is a warm smile from a very cute kobold, <laughs> a very sad kobold very who sad. just wants to go home. <laughs> Bebo, still looking at um, his like, eyes, which are like very wide, very anime eyes. <laughs> Cops, and he goes, <clears throat> yeah, I, I guess I could get with you, you know, it's protection. Going full Sunday at this point. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can't, I can't think I'd have it any other way. <laughs> Aww. Uh, this is very, very cute. This is. <laughs> I mean, it's gig actually having a proper gig interaction rather than just seeing dead bodies and <laughs> being sad. Which was the last well, I two sessions. <laughs> Apart from being terrified by the tree and the shade and dreaming about being a dragon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. little itty bitty gig. <laughs> yeah. Oh. End goal. <laughs> no, his end goal is to become Gig a is happy now. Yeah, G Gig is happy now, <laughs> knowing that Bebo is going to stick around um, until he gets home. So he carefully puts the the map back in his pa bag, carefully tucking it away. He has a very specific spot that it goes in his bag. He's very careful to make sure it ends up there. Okay. He Dust up his bag. Okay. <clears throat> so then my right. I mean, at this point, we're gonna cut to Misty and the Druid. Mm -hmm. No, Druid. It's impolite to hide things from your fellow travel companions. I'm not hiding anything. Oh, I don't believe that for a moment, dearie. I saw the way that you reacted to, to the shade. And? You need to become more trusting of your fellow companions. But it's not my business. I'll go wake up the lazy lobster and the little girl and make sure that you are on your way to all right to the Dwarven ri city. It's I feel bad sure. for Misty now. God damn it. <laughs> Wait, as she walks or as the lady's walking off, she's like if you're not, if it's not your business, then why are you asking questions? She remains silent as she walks off. Uh, full on talk to the hand at that point, damn. the rest of the DMs. Okay. Yeah. How are Lone Strider, Luna, and Skull Dugby waking up? Well, Lone Strider's just been in and jotting down, writing stuff in his journal most of the time. He's been recounting what's going on, and he's drawn up a picture of the shade and stuff like that. He tries to, whenever he sees something new, he jots it down in his journal, trying to create a death theory. And to work out the best way to finish it. Uh, um, Skulldugree does not sleep. Uh, he just sort of zones out for four hours, so he's just been, he's just been zoning, man. Is he, is um, he back up a thousand yard stare? Yeah, been... <laughs> a thousand yard <laughs> stare! <laughs> yeah, but like, he just you goes to the eyes. Out. You can't <laughs> How can you stare with no eyes? Thinking. Um, he's just been sort of vibing um and probably writing some really bad poetry yeah 
how can one enjoy ice cream when one has no taste buds to enjoy? <laughs> when one has, when one has no, no digestive sy system to process it. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> what is the point of life? What is if the point of life cannot... if one can't have ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's his poetry. I just came up with a really good pun, but I'm not doing it. <laughs> let's, hear it. let's hear it. Come on. This is just gonna be to see or not to see. <laughs> <laughs> That's the level of Skullduggery's poetry, so that sort of vibe. He's a good yeah, actor, just not a good poet. <laughs> but he thinks he's a good poet. No. <laughs> <laughs> so then, my fellow Indians. Do you notice when. Your, th your two travel companions come down. Sebastian is a bit paler than he was. Alright. Can I? Serena's a bit more uh, cautious. Can I? Uh, I go over. Um, can I? Are you? Are you two all right? You. You look, um, honestly, like shit. Do I look about as... So, basically you're saying I feel about how I look, then. <laughs> the crab just clicks his neck, and you can hear an audible <laughs> as he does so. Jesus. Um... <laughs> I can try and get some boiling water for you if you want. Put some colour back into your shell. <laughs> I'd appreciate not, thank you. Too many of my brethren have faced their fate in boiling water. Are you related to crabs? Oh, that was a joke. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> in all this, uh, Gig is going to walk up next to Sebastian, kind of Talk him a little bit. Um, are you feeling quite okay, though? You I'll don't exactly look your best. I'll be fine, Miss Serena. Don't you worry about it. He smiles and gives you a little head pat. <laughs> Gig uh, smiles, but he's got this bit of worry in his eyes, mm -hmm. but he doesn't bear any mind. If Sebastian says he's okay, then he Gig trusts Sebastian. It's just we can't have you passing out while we're traveling. I assure you, I won't be passing out. Right, well, that's 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 who that's has that's the map? Who has the map? So then we may look off. Uh, if I remember right, the person with the map for this is. I, I can't remember exactly who it is. I think it's one of three people. It's either Misty, Theobald, or Lone Strider. But I don't remember who. I don't remember exactly who 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 actually took the map. It's not Lone Strider. I, I, it's not me. I don't think so. It's not Theobald. Sorry. Did anyone take the map? <laughs> no, Gig's no. map is his own map. Okay. No, I've got coconuts. I've got bread and bad guys. I've got no map. Uh, Lone Strider didn't have it. If he if he did have it, he would have copied it into his journal, but he didn't have it. Okay. It's at this point the old druid woman just like, when someone's kind enough to give you a map, you should bloody well take it. <laughs> Next thing you know, Sebastian's face down on the table, and the woman's holding a rolled up map map that she used to beat him. Beat him across the back of the head, man. Ping. Well, um... He said about not passing out. He <laughs> kind of chuckles, um, but he doesn't exactly know what to make of this. Yeah, uh, uh, I'll grab the map from... <laughs> okay, she hands it to you. It's a very, very well-designed map. And this parchment, it... 
It feels leathery. Ooh. Um, could I very briefly try and jot out, uh, try and copy the, like, it in very small detail into my journal just before we set off? Roll a sleight of hand. I think, since I remember how to do that. You click on it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I need to check my character sheet. Yeah. Imagine not having your sheets open at all times. It's in a tab below me. It's, it's just my setup's falling. Oof. You've managed to get a very crude drawing of it. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> Can I try and figure out what it's made of? Roll a survival. A survival? Oh god. Oh. What? <laughs> 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 in all my proficiency. <laughs> Not a clue. Not the foliage. I think it might be some sort of paper. Wait. Give me a moment, give me a moment. Um, I just want to just double check. Do you not have... Um, um... Can yeah. I use my Jack of All Trades for that? Do you not have it turned on, Jack of All Trades? I don't think so. You should have it turned on, because it's pretty much active all the time, Jack of All Trades is. Mm. Let okay. me have a look. I'll have a look. Um... You do have as a bard a jack of all trades. Okay. So what I need to do is turn it on in your character sheet. Okay, sorry, I didn't know. Yeah. Re roll it. Okay. Oh that's neat. <laughs> yeah, you'll have there there's there's a massive change in your stats now. You'll have yeah. noticed. Cause uh, Jack of all trades is like half uh, Gives you better proficiency in most things. Yeah. It's, it's like ha you add half your proficiency bonus rounded down to any ability you check, which is pretty useful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. So then, you, you think it's a kind of paper, maybe? Maybe a bit of leather? Animal skin, maybe? You don't really know. Right. Can yeah. I ask her what it's made of? Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, can I just ask what the map's made of? It doesn't look like, um, paper. Skin, really. It's made of skin. Which type of skin? Like, what? which skin? Does it matter? It's Elven skin. skin. Oh! Oh dear. Watch this. She snaps her fingers. The, the, the map becomes a... 3D version of its that of it of the map, <laughs> showing mountains and all that on it. Wow. Whoa. Remind me to get some elven skin. I'd like to add it to my journal. <laughs> I, I don't think that's quite how it works, yeah. is it? Is that is that a property of elven skin? Uh, not. It depends who crafts, who uses it as material. It's an enchantment. Indeed, of and sorts. Elven skin holds enchantment quite well. Right. Just don't ask me how I got it. No, Jake is no walking around with a very uh, yeah. worried look on his face. <laughs> I mean, um, I don't have any skin you can use, but um. Don't don't worry, little kobold. I skinned this person after they were dead. I did not kill them. I. Well, um. I hope so. I mean, that's resourceful. And then I kind of left their bones at the beach. Oh, um... In a tree? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. It all comes back to the bloody tree. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, enough about me and my map making. <laughs> now run along. Run along, you lot. You got, you got a good... Couple days worth of travel. Oh Jesus! Okay. I. Okay. Yeah, the dwarven stronghold is on. Is in the middle of the island. And you are just. Uh, a little bit from the outer edge. Okay. So, so um, you, you got a good two-day hike, maybe. 
time of day is it now? It's morning. It's early morning. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, in that case, I say let's stop wasting daylight and get a move on. Yeah. yeah. Before, before we move out, remember to update my token. <laughs> no, Did you change it on on the home screen, but you didn't change it on the on the actual map. Don't worry. <laughs> this is what's gonna happen. Because okay. Let's we see. are gonna do this. Okay. Theater of the mind. My okay. I already. Hey. Started. Okay. You should be able to move your token good. Uh, could you just double check for me, please? Is that? Uh, I do not have control. You don't have control. Okay. Can you drag? Try that one. Get him to try that one. Right. Good. Try that. Try. Try again. Try that one now. For some reason, I can. No, I can't. Alright then, Gig, I need you to drag your token onto the map. Uh, I sent it, I sent it to you though, it's not, not in the thing. Yeah, it is, it is, drag, uh, drag it on. The Dra just drag, drag your character, drag character on. thing onto the map. So I showed Reese how to oh, do this uh, yesterday. Uh, I, I, I remember where that is. Boop. There we go. There we go. Hallelujah. Uh, I am totally not a derp. <laughs> Are you able to control that now? Yeah, that's all good. Okay. So then, whoever, what's going to be the marching order? Uh, um, because Sebastian now has Serena on his shoulders. I suppose I'll go in the back. Sebastian. Oh yeah, it's piggyback time. I forgot Who, about this. Who's got the map? I've got the map. I'll go, um, I'll go in second place. Double token for that. Okay. Uh, Gig will be in between the spell casters and the actual front. So. Uh, Perfect. So. Yeah. Yeah. Sebastian. I make sure I. Uh, so I make sure that's there, and then that is my AC. So I'm just. Formatting my token so it looks better. Okay, and then. Is, is anyone gonna jump in front of me or should I take lead then? I I mean, it's up to them. I um, I really don't want to put myself up in the front lines because I'm a caster. Yeah. yeah Rome Ro will enough. be back shortly, but their Wi Fi is cut out. Okay. Um, in that case, should we have two front liners up front and one at the rear? So either. Luna or yeah, Luna. yeah. I, I don't have a shield, so I can't. I'm gonna have to be at the back. Okay. You've got to have a weapon. Don't you fight with your shield though? You bonk things with your shield. I don't yeah. have it. I sold it. But I didn't sell it. I lost it. Gambled. Gambled it away. No, no, no. You lost your whip. No, I put the shield on as well, didn't I? Yeah. No, no, no. You, oh, I you with everything. Oh, you put them, this is why I remember this stuff. You put your whip on the table and I'm you not, lost I'm, the whip, I, but you I'm still, still got your shield. I'm, I'm not confident. Okay. <laughs> Gig's gonna end up frontlining. <laughs> he's got the help too. Yeah, it's no. fine. He has daggers. Elliot, you're gonna be, you're gonna be joining them on the front line. I'm up top, aren't I? Ah, uh, yes, yes, you are. Sorry. Uh, yeah, yes. Yeah, I'm going to take second if Theobald's going to go in front of me. I just realised something. What's up? We don't have many people who can actually take frontline damage. That's why. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, we have a blood hunter, a fighter, and a paladin. So theoretically, theoretically, they should can... be the ones up here. <laughs> yeah, they should be, but we're marching order into unknown. Hmm. Like, if the path was a known quantity, then we could set things up differently. Yeah. But we're encasing the convoy front rear. Okay. So, Rowan, you back with us? Yes. Yeah, sorry, B team. It's fine. <laughs> it's okay. Food is help? important. Yeah, it's fine. Food is very important. No, I miss anything. Food is much important. Not really. No, uh, you guys no. have now set off. Okay. We are on our journey. 
our mystical magical journey. And Higgs. Oh. We've lost Higgs. Shit. <laughs> 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 That's just our luck. The, when you come back, it, it, it is literally right our here. luck. We haven't gone a single session with. Without um, some kind of technical Do you guys want to put like your names <laughs> at the end, the uh, my right next to your character <laughs> on your character sheets in brackets? <laughs> to lockdown. Um, lockdown two. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is everyone back? Is everyone? I think so. Roll call. Yeah. Do you guys like want to put your names into the character sheets as well? Right. Yeah. In brackets. In brackets. Like that. If you see on the... There you go. Um... Oh, shit, okay. I mean, I think at this point we we all know character to person correlation, but it just helps. Yeah, it, it helps. Yeah. Yeah, um, I don't know if I've got room for mine. <laughs> oh, then again... <laughs> Uh, Elliot's uh, character is very, very. That's a very, very. <laughs> very oh, <long> yeah. Name. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what Lone Strider's name is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why don't you put it as the front instead of at the end? We all know the correlation there. It's okay. It's okay. We we know. Uh, we, we sort of... Just remember, Elliot's character has the name longer than supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted the wiki's guides all right. <laughs> It's fine. Yeah. Believe me, I'd rather have three in it before then fix it. Hmm. Hmm. Alrighty, ho, ho. Hey. It's a fun time. Who wants to roll me perception checks? Uh, oh, if God. I can remember that I am, I am proficient, so yeah. I will try. Yeah. Uh, not bad. Ah. Yeah, not bad. Shit. Sure. Could have been better. Actually, no. I can't talk about luck. I was rolling Perception really good checks. yesterday. Yes. Also, Ooh, well uh, done. Elliot, since you're the one with the map, yeah. can you roll me a survival check as well, please? Yep. Um, I lost my sheet whilst I was doing that. Uh, was it perception and something else, right? Survival. Okay. I'm glad he's not leading. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what? Well, um, I mean, I mean. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wiggly. Okay. Lone Strider isn't right up front. Yeah. Theobald is instead. Great stuff. Alright, so then. Uh, Emily and Kate. You two managed to spot monkeys with four arms and two legs just swinging from branch to branch above you. Okay then. Yeah. That's weird. So yeah, so there is life on this island that's not been killed by the shade. Ah. Uh. Alright, uh, Elliot, can you roll me another survival check, please? Yep, I can try. I mean, that's good survival. news, though. Shit. Okay. I'm just like, how? <laughs> how do you You're manage that, low? Really not... able to see the mountain at the moment? To the trees? But. Yeah. You swear you've seen that rock before. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> going in circles. I, I see Emily and the bad guys like, we're lost, aren't we? I'm not telling the others. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to keep So you're going to keep on going forward. I'm going to pause to get my bearing. Okay. And then set off again. Roll me. A dexterity save, please. 
Uh, <laughs> we're all gonna like domino. <laughs> we're ready. Oh, finally. You, you feel yourself start to sink, and then you just push it. You manage to get out of it before you are unable to move. Quick sand. Um, yeah, don't don't get sucked up into whatever this shit is, guys. Yeah. So then, for those of you, okay, can I have everyone else roll the deck save? Ah. Oh. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I warned them. Fingers crossed. Oh my god, I have a plus six! Come on! Oh, oh no. Would I be able to get um, uh, acrobatics if I did a backflip over it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I've already rolled decks now, so it's okay. Okay. I need Lucy. Where is Higgs? I am glad that Nat one's a disadvantage. <laughs> uh, I don't have to count, count it on the. the no, it doesn't. <laughs> It does not, because um, it isn't a, a nat one that actually affected the outcome. Yeah, if it affects the outcome, then yes, it goes on the counter. If it doesn't, oh, then shit. no. Okay. Are we all stuck in quicksand besides no. Lone Strider? Kids, Skullduggery, and Sebastian. Oh no. Are we stuck? Gig is now waist deep. <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, can I... Skullduggery, you're up to your knees, and... Save the little kobold! And Sebastian has sunk down to his midriff. Right. So, can I try and do a backflip to get out of it? Oh. <laughs> like, do acrobatics to get out of it, you know? I did not want to do that. Uh, I'll allow it, with disadvantage. Um, how could he do... Hey! How could he lift <laughs> off if you already You make it! But Ooh, you so do bad. see two <laughs> familiar white things stuck in the sand. Yes. Oh no! Yeah, that's what I was gonna hope. <laughs> you pulled your legs off! <laughs> what? Sorry, what did you say? You did an awesome backflip, but as you go to land, <laughs> you don't have any legs to land on. Oh! <laughs> okay, um. What? So. Can I, can I help Giggs get off? Giggs. Yeah. Can uh, I do it? Roll can I a. Giggs is definitely panicking at this point. <laughs> it's my. my, uh. Computer somehow opened the launcher for Skyrim. <laughs> Good <day. laughs> Okay. How is uh, your Sebastian has sunk down to his neck. Gig, I need you to roll a deck save again. Uh, wait, that, that. Uh, boom. Deck save. Okay, okay. you uh... managed to get out, and now Sebastian throws Serena out, out of the quicksand as he sinks under. <laughs> No. Wait. 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 I, is he really I, gone? I, is his like are his arms not like above his head because he's thrown Serena? His left hand is still above the sand right now. He wrote the that left. one I, on his last <coughs> death. Yeah. Uh, he grabs it and tries to pull. He tries to yeah, pull as hard as he can. Going, oh, I, can I? Yeah, uh, the, the will as well. Does this help? Okay. Acrobatics. <laughs> Oh yes, acrobatics! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh shit! I was about to say, <laughs> I I have a plus eight. Oh no! no. Plus Leave eight. Me alone. We're helping. I have a plus eight um, to acrobatics. Yeah. Helping. Well, he's not helping. He doesn't want to let go of the map. Uh, I'm trying to get my legs out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you're, trying to, if you're trying to get your legs yeah. out, Rowan, I need your own strength check. Ah, cool. Do I have... Uh... Oh, shit. It's only a plus one. Oh, fuck. Um, We're not doing well tonight. <laughs> you managed to pull your legs out. Yay! You no okay. longer have big toes. <laughs> oh, no! I no longer have big toes. Oh, no. And... It's pretty important for walking. Four toes on my feet. Can you I guys like... try to grab Sebastian, but he's gone. No. Oh, okay. fuck. Time for a death save. I'm being a dick. Jake is like, just like scrabbling at the quicksand and just like trying to dig and find oh, him. Ro roll acrobatics again. Can I help? That's attack? more like it. Let's go. That's more like it. I rolled a 19. <laughs> uh. 
You okay, you guys pull him need by the scruff of his neck and launch him out of the quicksand. <laughs> <sighs> he smacks headfirst into a tree. Bing! Oh, right. How far away did he get thrown? Literally to right behind you, and right behind you is a tree. Okay, um. Does. Is Sebastian clearly conscious or is he unconscious? I mean, he's, I. He's conscious. He is conscious. Good. Jake's like frantically, like. Like, checking him over and like pulling and shaking him he's and trying fine. to. He's fine. He's just... okay. He just holds up his finger and vomits up sand. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just a pile of sand coming out of his throat right now. <laughs> yeah, this whole cartoon right. thing of just open his mouth and just still pours out. <laughs> I turn, uh, I turn Serena away so she doesn't have to look at it. <laughs> and, yeah. And then he does the comical thing of bashing it out of his ears. I hate <laughs> sand. It gets everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Can I try and look for my big toes? Um, they're long gone. Like, oh, if your long legs gone. were completely oh, submerged, your big toes would be in the bottom. You, you can walk without big toes. You can walk okay. without big toes. Hobble. Yeah. Oh, fuck. You, you just got Do a I get minus five. Do I disadvantages or anything? You got, you got a minus five to your movement speed, that's all. Oh. <laughs> uh, do, I, do I have to write that in? Just take away minus five from your movement speed. Right. It's fine. Shit. You have the I'll same. Back and backwards. Yeah, it's fine. Like, you you have the same speed, speed oh. as a as a gnome now. It's okay. <laughs> oh god. I'll see if I can. We're going. I mean, we're going to a. Um, a yeah. On the they upside. They might be able to. They might be able to. Fashion. Make you big toes. <laughs> I'm sure if you pay enough, they'll give up a couple of hours. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, Elliot, can you roll me another survival check if you guys are going to carry on walking? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, fuck. Jig is oh, shaking up. Oh my god, no. I was oh, about to say, Jig yeah. is shaking up and he's tr he's making sure that he's vigilant for things now because he doesn't want to end up in something again. But then, not one survival check. That's so it won't even matter. Well, that's a a, another nat one for the nat one counter. <laughs> yep. Now I need to get my percentile dice. Um, uh, can't be as bad as the bagpipes. So let's just hope it's not as bad. <laughs> oh no! It honestly, I think it can be a lot worse. Like a lot, lot I, worse. I'm using True. my very. I'm using my second set of dice. Yeah. Um. See, see, here's the thing. Like with the bagpipes, it was. Bag bagpipes being played in a secluded area. This is in the middle of a forest jungle thing. It was in the middle of a forest. Yeah. You are so lucky. Oh, that's you walk oh, yeah, straight into a you walk straight smack bam into a tree. Oh. And, a co and a coconut falls on your head. Oh, okay. Don't try to nine points of bludgeoning damage as this coconut smacks you in the head. Uh, ouch. Okay. Gig can't help but laugh at the fact that the Fred was so absorbed in the map that he walked into a tree and got hit by a coconut. <laughs> he just. Well, I've got a coconut now. <laughs> giggling with one hand over his snout. Yes, you have a coconut now. That was me being lucky. <laughs> yeah, you got you got a fifty-five. Yeah. It was a fifty-five on the on the uh, D one hundred. Yeah, I wouldn't call that lucky. <laughs> but no, a nat 100 that's... is lucky because nothing happens. Yeah. A nat 1 is the that's worst thing you can know. get Yeah, it could have been a lot, lot worse. Mm. Okay. Yeah. The, the, <laughs> for the next uh, severity roll, I'm going to make it public. Yeah. So I'm going to roll it on the roll 20. Okay. So after Shall watching <laughs> Lone Strider walk headfirst into a tree, does anyone else want to have a try at reading the map? Um. Well, okay. is Lone Strider not going to let them? Uh, no, they can look yeah, at it, but I'm going to hold it. I'll okay. have a yeah, look that'd at be it. the awkward thing. Yeah. yeah. What do you mean? What do I need to roll? Survival. 
survival. Oh shit. Oh! It, oh my Christ. <laughs> oh, I can't get any more lost. Okay, you walk into the same tree he does. Kling. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not. It you take that one point one. of bludgeoning damage as the baby coconut lands in your empty eye socket. Kling. Oh. It's just doubled so over. I have, I have a baby coconut now. In your eye. How yeah. many? Yeah. How much damage? One. One. All right. I'll I'll take it out and I don't know. Put it in my. I'll put it in my stuff. Okay. Okay. Misty. Let's see what you got. You managed to go. Lone Strider, you're holding it upside down. Flunk. <laughs> <laughs> And she points her finger through some trees, and you spot the mountain. But it's getting dark. Oh, shit. Oh, we got lost. Well, you have we your got... bearings now. You got your bearings. Yeah. The question is, right. do you want to continue walking throughout the night, because you will incur a point of exhaustion? Or are you going to make camp? How good are people at seeing in the dark? Yeah. I, I can't see at all. I was about to ask, how much longer and like, can we tell how long it would be until night will pop up? I think, I think it's just Misty and the kobold that can see, that have night vision. Like dark vision. Uh, yeah, because I think everyone else seems, actually no, I think Skull Dudley should as well. Mi Misty I think has I dark vision. Um, We're in the jungle, right? Yes. Yeah, Skullduggery has dark vision. And yeah, I, I believe Gig should have dark vision. Gig has dark vision. Yeah, Gig has dark vision. I dark would vision. advise carrying on just because anything like that. Three of us have. Three out of six has dark vision. But it would incur exhaustion, yeah. though, that's the thing. I imagine. Yeah, we... exhaustion is horrible. Horrible. Um, can, can we relieve exhaustion once we get to the city? We'd have to. You have to take a long rest to remove, I think it's one level of exhaustion. Yeah. I mean, and it is only one level of exhaustion we're going to have, so... Even one level of exhaustion I mean, is still... And I think Skulldoggery is probably going to be the only one that actually doesn't Shade get the exhaustion because so. they don't need to sleep. Mm -hmm. Anything that would hunt us whilst is we're walking one? also try and hunt us whilst we're... Yeah, so I think the way it's not... Right. So what do we do? Are we going to stay, like, find a place to go for the night? Gig would rather stop and camp. Yeah, I'd, I'd say yeah. stop. Can yeah, we but if, that shade, nearby, if that shade's nearby, then it camp. might be best to keep moving. C can we try and find somewhere that we can either, like, hide for the night or fortify for the night? Before can we, all... like, climb up into trees? <laughs> oh, I know that's not a good idea. Yeah, that's quite ironic thing. because I have a that's character that does that. <laughs> one more survival check, please. Everyone. Two. Just in general, I guess. Um, like a group survival check. You guys choose who rolls it. Oh, shit. oh yeah. Already rolled. I, I think that's probably be best. That that's the. I'm not sure. I think that's the highest proficiency in uh, survival we have in the group. That doesn't yeah. play well on my previous roll. You managed to find an abandoned encampment. Ooh. And there's a trader's caravan. Occupied or not occupied. From not from right. what you can tell, it's not occupied. Right. Okay. I say we settle down here, try and fortify it. If anyone's got any way they can set up traps or shit to alarm us if anything comes by, then Well I mean if there's a trader's caravan here then there is the potential that there is someone already in there. So maybe if there is someone inside, they can help us out. I uh, I will knock on the door then. I would yeah. say. Um, yes. I'd like to push on the door, see if it's unlocked. Door swings open. I'll have a. I'll peek my head inside. Uh, there is a tiny, lot of goods in here. It's tiny tart. Oh, right. um, yeah, I'd like to have a rummage around, see anything 
Oh um, my god, you're gonna steal. We're stealing again! We're stealing again! We spent the time stealing it What are you doing? Roll investigation. Okay. Add it as well. Do you guys can investigate hey, as much as you want. Um, Jig is not partaking in this. Rowan, th there's a spell that I suggest you probably pick up at some point. It's called Tiny Hut. Okay. Yeah. Raymond's Tiny Hut. It's, it's really good. It's a third level. It it's a third, third level. It's slot. a third level spell slot. Okay. And I would suggest when you get access to them, that's one of the spells you pick up as a third level spell. Yeah, we, it's very useful for stopping out in the wilderness and stuff because okay. it yep. just keeps things out. It keeps the bad things out. The nasties. So then I can't Jigs. wait until whoever's caravan this is comes back. <laughs> like Jigs, only only um, the, uh... bards and wizards can get access to the spell. So, Jigs, are you familiar with an with something called? Ooh. I think that's a sword, isn't it? I s mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Nice. Uh, you yes, find I'm... a silver falchion, which counts as a magical weapon. Wow. I don't think falchions are a I mean, roll I mean, 20 thing. I mean, is like a warrior, so no matter what it is, if it's a nice thing, so he's going to um... take it. <laughs> yeah, no, I heard. Can I have to mute? Alright. Guys. Everything so nice what is Emily. So what is a falchion? A sword? Yeah. Yes. It's like oh, a yeah. sword with, I think it's honed down one side. It's, yeah, a blade down the front side, I think. Yeah. I don't know what it'll count in terms of hit, uh, hit dice or damage dice. Um, I would it's assume good. it'd be, be like a short sword. So I'll see. Like a D6, right? but... I'll see if I can find it in the player's handbook. It, it won't be in the PHB. It won't be in the PHB. Oh, okay. It won't be. I can tell you that right now. It won't <laughs> be in the PHB. Yeah, but sil silver's effective against undead, right? Uh... Okay. Oh, oh, I thought I... Yeah. <laughs> it met me for a it's, moment. It's a silver's weapon. Um, oh, so... Oh, oh but abyssal... No, it's a vampire's... Oh. Oh. Two D four. Okay. Yeah, as I was about to say, I hear dice being rolled. Yeah. <gasps> oh. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Fuck yeah. God, that actually um, about to shred. I can find a wall now! <laughs> <laughs> when you say magical, please mean electric. <laughs> <laughs> it does, so, so it doesn't do much, but it's it like it's just an electric guitar. It's an electric guitar that doesn't use electricity. <gasps> yes. Oh. Is there bagpipe on there by any chance? <laughs> Don't even. Don't. Oh, fuck. would have broken it as soon as oh, you yeah. played it like bagpipes. Oh, wait. Uh, I played bagpipes really it, well. Okay, if important remember. question. Does it go up to 11? Yeah, there we go. Now the stream can Okay, be. sorry, stream, for that. So basically what the reaction was... Uh, Rowan, who plays Skullduggery, they have found a essentially a magical guitar which has a little nozzle on it, 
if you switch the nozzle, you can play different instruments. And they asked if there was a uh, bagpipes on it, and the bagpipe symbol is actually scratched out. <laughs> I mean, does it still work? Is the question. Your ball is much sad. It, it that will. Can't I mean, it will. You will need to attune yourself to it before you can use it. Probably. Mm. Uh, quite the attunement, uh... Yes, it's something that needs attunement. And the same with the falcon. But hey, attunement right. just requires you sleeping with it all night. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, we are about to sleep, so... I mean, I don't I... think Phil okay. is going to let go of it anytime soon. <laughs> okay, Elliot. Yeah? You found the caravan owner. Or what's left uh, of them. Oh, awesome. Guys, it's not stealing anymore. Um, actually, no. No, I'm not saying that because I want to more and more and more. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, uh, can I uh, see if there's any obvious like way in which he died? His face is completely blue, and there seems to be tan marks around his neck. Somebody um, choked him. Human looking hand, like sideways. I don't. I don't think you need my ability. Um, Miss Misty just looks over and she's just like, I don't think you need my abilities for that one. It's kind of obvious. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not really concerned about how he died. More is whether the thing that killed him is still around. Yep, they seem to be little hands. Serena. Why you a child? I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> Lucy. Speak of which, though, um, you have left Gig outside. I love how everyone's in this caravan, and Gig's just outside because he wants nothing to do with this. <laughs> Lucy, and he, he has no idea, if, like, if the guy's alive or dead. Right. He assumes he has an owner, and they might come back. Uh, okay. Can I search the, the owner? Uh, see that would be another investigation check. I'm happy to do that. Okay, Nunu. Lucy. Hey. Hmm? Ooh. So then. Well done. Ooh. Okay, so Lucy. You find hanging above the doorway as you walk in two shields with a blade ah. sticking out the bottom of them crossed. Ah, two shields. <laughs> He's like, yes! <laughs> two shields. Right. And can I, can I guess she has a moment where he's like, my baby! The shields also have an attached blade. Ah. Which can retract. That's cool. Ah. That's cool. <laughs> so I'll put that the, into the your character light. sheet now because that's something I made. Ah. Mm -hmm. Welcome, yes. guys. The first homebrew weapon. Ooh. It's like yeah, funky the things the... except there's a blade. It's and shiny. Uh, whereabouts? Punchy protecty things, except they also have a hidden blade. Yeah, I'm gonna, just gonna put in shield blade. Is is the sh is the blade on the bottom of the shield, or is it out facing it's, outwards? It across? sticks out at the bottom of the shield. Okay. So it's not like the charge of a bloody. No, it's not. So then, uh, whilst I'm sorting this out, Elliot, do I know what you find on this? Poor soul's corpse. I'm really hoping it's something dead. You find a boot. Ooh, okay. With a skull on it. That's okay, a that doesn't play too key, well. Isn't it? Uh, can I look around, try and see whether anything? Roll was... a perception check. Oh yeah. Uh, how do I? E. You're crushing the rolls tonight. Yeah. Am I? Scroll up a bit. <laughs> now he is. Now he is. <laughs> you oh, spot in the oh, corner. Now you are. A, a old metallic chest with various runes on it. Right. Um, oh. I'd like to investigate the box before I open it. Roll up. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. So. Uh, it's time I get into my onesie. Alright. So, uh, Lucy, you now have a shield blade. 
Do you want to put um, like pictures in the reference pictures as well? Is there, is there oh. two of them or one of them? There's two of them. Um. Oh, there's two of them! Okay, so then... Two of them, thanks. Uh, Elliot, this chest seems old. And the runes seem a bit... <laughs> just a bit faded. But okay. the keyhole at the front definitely looks like it will fit this key. Okay, um... um yeah, Found I'm just it. gonna try and like. Oh, sorry, this might go horribly wrong. I'm gonna try and move the box out so I. So you touch it. Oh, I've said it now, so yeah. Looking reference That's specs. <laughs> Incoming fireball, where all five right, of you so are in, in an enclosed so space. Get outside. So yeah, that's basically what the shield looks like, basically. But the blade can retract. You find a oh no, it shows on there. It can that it can retract. Is it like that blade comes out the side of that shield, doesn't it? Is it is, but it's like that's on. No, the it's upside down. The shield is. Yeah, it's upside down. No, that, that's that, that's ninety degrees to one angle. Because look at the the angle of the thing you hold. Uh, it's it's creative close, liberty. It's, it's here, close people. enough. Come on, it, use your imagination. It's close enough. <laughs> yeah. And I'm guessing the sides of the shield are sharpened, shields are sharpened as well, so they, oh, they can yes. be used as weapons if need be. Just, just by li getting them off and you accidentally hit one of those shelves, you watch as it cut an inch deep into the wooden shelf. Oh, also, you, Elliot, shit if you, love you get the chest outside, it doesn't right. look old anymore. It looks like bright, shiny new silver. Ooh, nice. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, so, so you just brought this thing outside into Gig, and Gig is now very curious as to why you're bringing a big old chest out of this thing. Yeah, everyone <laughs> stand back. I'm gonna yeah. open this. It might go bad, but I found it. Find his keepers. Why did you touch yeah. it in the first place, then? Because if I opened it in a small confined space, it could have killed us all or something. Well, why not just leave it alone? It's not ours. It is. You, I've got a key for it. It's mine. You don't know who, who, whose this stuff is. Look, this is my key. Mine I've had it all now. along. It's my chest. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Skuldery comes outside, by the way, so... Okay. Yeah, are you just playing with the guitar right now? Yeah, I'm just fucking yeah, around. You switch it onto <laughs> the drums. It, you hit a note, it sounds like a drum. <laughs> yes! Uh, Skuldery's just inventing Wonderwall in the corner. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a performance check with disadvantage. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh no, oh no, I remember what happened last time this happened. Oh no, I I got a, I got 20 last time. No. You tried to play with Wonder Wall. No, yeah. I meant disadvantage, so 15. You're not gonna uh, do Not bad. You successfully play Wonder Wall. <laughs> yes! God damn it. <laughs> Okay. So many times, no okay. Unfortunately, so, uh, we cannot uh, play the mu this the actual song because it's copyrighted. Who's currently uh, nearby, Skullduggery? Uh, okay. I think Theobald will do. Okay, Theobald, I need you to roll a wisdom save. <laughs> I called it. I called it. I called it. <laughs> wisdom saving throw. Can I have a packet oh, of crisps, no. please, sweetie? Okay, you start to feel a bit drowsy, but you manage to fight it off. Oh, so this is magical. It's not just... Mm. Like... Oh shit, you've got a Rehypnongusa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, right. Gig isn't happy with Lone Shredder's antics, but he will give the chest a wide berth. Uh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna As asked. Uh, are you gonna open it, Elliot? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, as you t put the key in, you turn it, you hear a click. Top of it pops up. I fucking dart away as fast as I can. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you should say that. The chest lid falls back, clink. You hear a sound coming from it. Sounds like a cat. Oh no. Oh fuck. 
Um, uh, don't tell me you've just managed to either put into a fight in the dead of night, or you've I, or you've potentially gotten yourself a pet of some kind. I swear. Alright. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm gonna try and peek into the box by staying as far away as possible to get a look at whatever's making that noise. Can you see? Like, at arm's length. <laughs> so dark, preferably. Can you see this? Oh no. Oh no no no. Put it onto the roll 20. I'm actually gonna put it on the roll 20. Oh shit, I forgot. Right. One second. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be. Give me a minute, let me just uh... You need to save that. Uh, for the I'll camera. Put it on roll 20 a minute, so give me a minute. Roll 20. Oh. I I really hope this because this thing's been locked in a box. I really hope it doesn't turn out to be hostile. I'm just hoping it's not the thing that fucking rung out the merchant's neck. Oh please no! I and mean, I'm hoping lock it inside with a box afterwards. I also yeah. don't know if this is like a weird kind of mimic that wants you to unlock it before it kills you and then locks itself again. I, I mean, know it's been done. This is what you see. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Aww. Oh. Oh. That's cute. That's pretty. A baby fey dragon. Oh. Wait a minute. If it's a. Hmm. Okay. That's a magical creature. All right. Uh. Yeah. Can I? Can we all hear those noises? Yes, you can. I, I will shout. Everyone, stay the fuck away. Don't be in here. Stay away. Alright. Find us keepers. It, 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 pokes it, it pokes its little head out. It has massive eyes because it's a baby. Alright, yeah. Can I make some sort of <laughs> check to see what I know about this thing? Uh, roll a... If it's magical creature, it would be uh, nature plus arcana. Yeah, roll me a nature check. Better to roll an arcana. <laughs> well, you can roll both if you want. Oh, yeah, the first day. Oh, never mind. Yeah, this is a baby fey dragon. Ooh, is it tameable? Possibly. <laughs> Here's my question. Oh, is it basically obvious pet. that it is a quote unquote dragon? That's my question. Yeah, you see the wings, but you also see a few jars of. Empty jars of honey in its container. Okay, um... Gig walks up curiously and... tries to say hello in Draconic. Oh, shit. Yeah. Hello! It, speak, it speaks back in common. Ah, oh, oh, okay, so it actually... Okay, so, so it speaks common, okay. Um... Well, wait, so, hold on. It said hello back, which means, theoretically, it... It speaks Draconic. It, yeah. it understands Draconic, okay. Are you new friends? Okay. Skullduggery walks over. Um, do you know who locked you in that box? No, I, I, I woke up in that box. I, I was born in that box. You see empty eggshells in there. Oh. Um, so you don't know anything about this place, do you? Nuh-uh. I just know I like the yellow stuff. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm gonna... Well, at least he has the can... concept of colours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now we just have to hope it's honey and not urine. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you, you said, That's uh, a quick text. That it was urine. honey. Um, how much honey yeah. is left inside of, the, uh, inside of the box itself? None in the box. I'm fine None in the box. Um, okay, Gig kind of holds out a hand. Um, to the dragon and says, um, um, trying to think. Okay, yeah. Into Chronic again, just because he feels that it's right. Um, I'm friend. Would you like to try and find some food? Uh huh. You watch as it stretches its wings, it's crippled. Its um, wings are crippled from being can trapped I, in the box. In can I try to heal it? 
you can certainly try. Yeah. That... <laughs> Should I waste my? Mm. Yeah, the age-old words. You certainly try. Okay. Um. Give in... touch uh, to can I... Hold on. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, um. Sonic, uh, I'm gonna go to Jake. Oh, you find his pieces. Um... Wait. Those strata nose draconic. Yep. Finders keepers. Is, are those your names? No, no, that's it's a figure of speech. I didn't even know that. <laughs> ownership of <laughs> the, ownership of draconic dragon um, falls to me because I had the keys. I don't think you it's watch as this a... baby fey dragon jumps up and literally starts pour jumps onto Elliot's chest. And grips onto him. <laughs> See, told you. Um, and starts pouring out his chest like a cat would. Oh. Dragon, do you have a name, or do you want me to give Don't you one? Don't fade dragons feed off magic. They do. I, oh, I don't have a name. Uh, do you, you have honey? Do, you, oh, that, do they have that. a? Biological sex or not? <laughs> no. I mean, if, 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 well, dragon fey dragons are gender queen. neutral. All right, hey. you're called Chernobog. Congrats. <laughs> I don't like that fucking honey. Russian guard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't like um, that name. You don't have honey. I don't like you. I can get honey. It pushes off you. And and just lands on Jake's head. Is there any honey in the in the trailer? Because I'm Misty's yeah. still in there. I was about to get roll, to that. Roll, roll um, uh, investigation. <laughs> Wait, who? Uh, this is um, Misty rolling investigation. Cool. You find about two jars of honey, and then a much older looking jar that seems to catch your eye. I pick it up and have a closer look. You touch it. Mm -hmm. Okay. It feels warm. What? What's the? Uh, if I were to say liquid, what would be the first thing that comes to your head? Piss. <laughs> Water, correct. Hmm. Ah. You, you you look at the jar. You feel it get heavier. And there's a gallon of water in it. Oh! Alchemist jar. Yeah. It's an alchemy jug. Yep, you now have an alchemy jug. As well as two vials of honey. Cool. I yeah, apologize so to the stream for my munching of crisps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've made Look at that out already. Do I see the dragon? Uh, yes, you do. It's just it's on Gig's head. It's pushed on Gig's head. <laughs> and, and it's just does the little cat padding on Gig's head right now and curls up on it. It's literally a cat with wings. Pretty it's much. Um, <laughs> oh, Alright, dragon, what do you want to be called? <laughs> what language is that? Draconic. Yes, uh, Draconic. Destroyer of Worlds. Hey, um... <laughs> it was to be the be called destroyer of worlds. And it's just looking yep. at you all with big, huge cat-like eyes, smiling. Oh, cutely. with big, huge, with a massive, cute face. It was to be called destroyer of worlds. You know what? All right. How about Oppen no, yeah. Oppenheim? Oppenheim that, instead. That, that that could be D O W. No. Uh, that, that, now. Okay. Uh, I, I like that. Jones. I like that. Jones. Oh, Jones. <laughs> you, you just watch as its head tilts up. Honey. Whoosh. Yeah, off uh, it goes. Misty, I need you to roll a death save. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this thing's gonna come flying at you like a bullet. A death save. Yes, please. <laughs> you are not prone as, a as you are now covered with honey. Let the dragon not accidentally ah. knock towards you and it's just licking at ah. your face. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. would, would you have seen the dragon Misty go flying into the caravan? Misty is not best pleased because she's got honey all over her fur and that's going to take forever to take out. You, like, you, get out. Watch as the fey dragon is just slurping it up. Alright. Um, 
Jesus. I like this one. This one tastes of honey. Yeah, uh, whilst the... I, I'm, I'm um, whilst the fae, whilst the fae dragon's on her, yeah. she's just gonna gently stroke the wings. Like, very gently. Rose like a queen. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, oh. I, as soon as you said that, Emily, I thought, that might not be a good idea. Oh! oh my god. <laughs> 22! My god! The dragon into a crocodile. Dragon rolled that one. <laughs> Oh, she's okay. preoccupied licking the honey off your bit, off your cheek. Yeah, okay. so she's basically just as she's stroking the wings, she just she's Her, smoothing them out a bit. Its wings feel like butterfly wings, mm. but with bones in them, and you can feel the bones are just solid, mm. solidly bent in a very bad shape because it was cramped in, cramped in that box. Right. Um. Can I speak to Destroy of Worlds? Uh huh. All right, um, I've got a proposition for you. Okay. Um, we will feed you honey if you tag along with us, and we will give you even more honey for if you attack the king bees. Because we want you to attack. I, I don't fight. I, I, I don't like to fight. Oh, what do you do? You I eat honey. And I do Misty. This. You watch as it blinks out and reappears on Jake's head. Oh, God. Are you uh, able to... Oh, that's... Wait, hold on. If we can find a way to yeah, yeah. Can, to can have you... it mature, would there be a way to get it get to teleport a person in addition? Yeah. That could keep it alive. Bear in mind, this keep is still a baby. This thing has not yes. gone into its full power yet. Yes. <laughs> That'll do. We'll give you honey. We'll feed you some magic. Uh, and in return, I don't think you'd know if. Uh, I don't think you'd know that Fae Dragons feed on magic yet. Uh, we'll, we'll feed you uh, whatever you want. Yeah, you'd have to roll. You just, you just say honey. Okay. Uh, Do you eat anything? Uh, Does it eat anything? Oh. Or whatever. Sorry, what was that roll? Uh, uh, Does it eat anything other than honey? You don't know because all yeah. it's been eaten since its birth was honey. Right. And it really likes honey. Okay. Would, I, would I know from the Nature Arcana check for this when I first identified it? Actually, yeah, because you rolled quite high, mm. I'd say you'd be able to get the sense that this thing would eat anything. This could suck the magic out of a bag of holding. A um, holding. Oh, Skullduggery, go. Skullduggery takes the, the coconut uh, out of his bag. Would you uh, like to try something other than honey? Just because you might like it even more. It dives at the coconut. And, and much like a little cat thing is curled up all around it, trying to get into it. Oh, and, it's to oh. it. and it's just rolling around the campsite now. On the, on the coconut, <laughs> trying to get into it. Um, Gig, seeing the difficulty that the dragon is having is gonna go into the caravan intending to look for more honey and then sees Misty with honey all over her. <laughs> yeah. Um, as well as okay? water coming out of a alchemical jug next to her as well. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, did... But... Are you gonna... Be okay. Um, the the dragon just tackled me, and I managed to spill honey on myself. I'm, I'll be fine. Are Are you sure? Do you want some help? Um, I'll I'll be all right. Um, she sighs, picks herself up, and just casts predestination on herself. Ah, uh, predestination, of course. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, Gig is gonna have a look around. Hope try and find some honey to keep this thing yeah. fed. The dragon is so. now walking around with a coconut on its head. She... I, I have an alchemy jug. Like, I, ju I could just... Oh honey God, honey just is a it. honey is a liquid. <laughs> yeah, the alchemist jug can make honey. The alchemist's jug can make honey. Uh, a geek does not know what an alchemy jug does. So. No. But no, she has a jug that is currently, a... she's currently full of water. It's just like... You just watch um... as the dragon walks into a tree. It's kind of... And for um, the coconut off of its head. See, 
feel bombs watching all this uh, a bit far away from the group because he's a bit hesitant to voice dragons because he's like he's like religion is very focused on hunting them. Oh, so yeah. he's kind of a bit. Got, don't be put, really him, put him to sleep, hurry, put him to sleep. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, what does Gig find with an 11? Uh, with an 11? Yeah. He spots... If he finds the body, he's running outside in, in, in a panic, spouting yeah, he, he about the body. body. He spots the body. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Gig runs outside in a delirium. Um, Do you want to shrink the Fave Dragon card? Talk about... Yeah. Take there's a body inside, there's a body inside. <laughs> yeah, that was just to show the people back at whoever's watching. What the Fey Dragon's like. So, currently the Fey Dragon is just wandering around the campsite, bumping into tr trees until someone takes the coconut off its head, where it's just like, uh, boom. Oh, Jake's just Misty. seen a body and is very confused and panicked and upset. Misty's <laughs> gonna. Walks over and places a hand on Gig's shoulder. Gig, are you alright? Did, did you not see it? See what? All of you are in there! There's a person! Oh! I didn't see a person. Uh, I just saw this bitch in sword. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was um, sword. Yeah, I, yeah I uh, it, it seems like the uh, owner of this caravan died. Um, ah. Misty says oh. as she's going, as she goes to assist the Fey Dragon, she just um, takes out um, a dagger and um, opens up the coconut with her dagger. So you open up another coconut? No, the one the dragon's got. Oh, the dragon's already opened it and it was up. Yeah, it's already it. opened it. Oh. It's stuck on its head. Yeah. And it can't see. It, it, it just walks head, runs Takes, head Take the coconut off its head and just like... No, it's still in there. You lift it up and the dragon's still running in the air. <laughs> she she just puts her paw, her, her paw underneath it. It's like, what are you doing, little one? I'm stuck. <laughs> the coconut's trying to eat me. Help. This thing is trying to eat me, but it tastes so good, but it's trying to eat me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, God damn it. This is so funny, but Gig is so sad at the same time. She's this is going so hard. to. Right. She's gonna. Burn. Right. Uh, seeing as we're gonna so sleep crazy. tonight, oh. Misty's gonna burn a sorcery point so you can feel the uh, magic emanating from her. Magic? You watch as the coconut. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> it jumps into your coat, into your clothes, and curls up, just nuzzles up into you. You now have a large area around your stomach where the dragon is. <sighs> God damn it. Uh, so, uh, Gig, you, you do know that people are going, we are going to see dead people on this journey. We're going to meet quite a few too. Oh, shut up! <laughs> I'm going to meet you. I don't know about you. And it's okay. Death is um not that bad. Gig almost. Hmm. God, this is very awkward. Gig looks slightly offended. Um, and greatly upset. So, I, I messed up. Um, so, you see, if... I, I understand you're upset, and I probably am saying the wrong things at the moment, um, but... Can I have my wa more wine, please? We should... We shouldn't panic at the sight of death. There's, there isn't any danger to us at the moment, so we're all right. What's your bonus? Gig kind of sits on the ground and he's... What's your bonus? I mean, he's still visibly upset, but he's not as bad as before. It's just... You all went in then, you didn't say anything. Well, I didn't see him, personally. What would you have done if we told you? I... 
don't know. Any kind of shrugs? Well, I, I figured you didn't want to know about the dead body, so I didn't bother mentioning it. Plus it oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fair enough. No, Gig didn't want anything to do with the caravan because he assumed that it and the contents within had an owner and had maybe just gone somewhere and was going to come back. No, you weren't messing with That's it why was, he didn't uh... care about what was inside. The only reason he went inside is because Misty went in and there was a big thump because the dragon flew into her. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, Lone Survivor doesn't know how to deal with any of this, so any he's gonna go. Of that one. Uh, yeah. He's not good with words. He's just Can Misty, like, the encourage the dragon to just sit on her shoulder rather than being curled up in her clothing? Animal handling. She's like, come on, this little one, up, up on my shoulder, please. Oh god. Oh, the dragon comes out. Uh, hey, uh, Rowan, can you make a deck save for me? Oh god. Um, oh my god, uh, okay. Wait, hold on. Rowan and Gig are right next to each other as well. Oh! Yes! Okay. Okay, Rowan, you're not knocked prone, but you now have a dragon in your ribcage. Ah! <laughs> And its, I mean... and its head sticks out from your collar. Black. I you know mean, what? Uh, that was I not what cute. I intended, but okay. Gig's brightened up and is kind of can... chuckling now. Yeah. Can Skull Degree pet? <laughs> like, pet his head? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. There is... So I don't need to roll anything for that. Eh, no. no. I, I was cool. just being a dick earlier. <laughs> ah. <laughs> There is some scenario in which the bears can spread its wings from within the ribcage and sort of reaping gain fucking wings. Oh, if God. if you manage to find a way to re-break its wings and reform them in the correct manner. Uh, um, yeah, see, that's the thing. I think the greater likelihood is it's... that that would split Skullduggy's body apart. Wait, whoa, wait, wait, wait. We can take out Skullduggy's rib... Um, you know, Wouldn't it be like a greater restoration as well? A, um, dwarven stronghold, right? Mm -hmm. Can't mm -hmm. they, couldn't they make like metal wings as like a replacement? Yeah, I mean, I don't know how good metal is. I mean, I don't wings. think the wings Why actually need replacing. Having... Okay. They just it need to like... like how to train your dragon, you know? If the wings are there, they'd be crippled. Well, yet. It, okay, I don't think he. Pay okay, it's crippled because it's malnourished. Well, because it was in a box. It, because it was in a box for so long, yeah. and it didn't. It, it, it ran out of food. Well, no, it, it grew, grew in the, in the box. box. Yeah, there's yeah. nowhere for it to spread. Yeah, it grew in the box, and it couldn't stretch it. So if we just like keep the dragon in amicable conditions, then it'd be fine. You might need to break yeah. its wings and reform them. Yeah, yeah so I was saying, I was thinking uh, one of us, one of us should break its, one of us should break its wings in time, obviously. One, one of us should break its wings and put it, put the wings on a splint, like with medicine, with a medicine check, and um. Yeah. Who wants to be hated by the dragon, Mama? Um, well, yeah. I think, wouldn't theoretically, the best person to deal with the dragon would be the, the small dragon thing. Yeah. I don't know at this point. I mean, you you probably just... have the best um, charisma, if that makes sense. Yeah, I have the best <laughs> charisma. I think I probably, as you know, I have tied best charisma. I think with um, with uh, Misty. I actually know. I think Misty's is higher. What's your charisma? Uh, um, sixteen. Misty, Fine. Misty is a seventeen. Yeah. Right, mine's. Right. Well, animal handling yeah. is um. I can't reality. see what animal yeah, handling is. Oh, it's a wisdom check. Animal handling's wisdom, though. Yeah. yeah. Which I don't understand. So then, what's that animal handling bit trying to do? Oh, no, she was checking what animal handling was. Oh, okay. 
I mean, if it helps, I have persuasion. <laughs> I can persuade um, it, and, and I can talk into a cognac, so... Can I, I mean, I could <laughs> do a perform... <laughs> I could perform so it falls right. asleep. First things first, first. Actually, I Actually, yeah! You should rest for the night. First oh, no, no, first. no, that's a bad idea, because the sleep spell will end if any of us cause damage to it. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. First things first, so I think I, I was going to say I could rest. cast a sleep spell, but then I was like, so oh, that, hold on a minute. It'll um, wake up the minute we hurt it. Yeah, fair enough. Well, also, if if we put it to sleep, we have to roll to put sleep and then transport it. No, uh, not, no, not with sleep spell. Yeah. Mm. Uh, didn't roll the spell card. Uh, but uh, basically, yeah, yeah. hit the um. Oh Jesus! <laughs> All right. I will. So, um, before we all try and sleep and all that. Uh, watch cycle, I assume. Or supplies in the nearby area. Just. We don't really do have. We can do a watch cycle if you want. Yes, definitely. And yeah. if um. I'm going to use my rope to set up some sort of tripwire. If, um, I mean, I, I don't mind just nibbles? doing the watch, because I only need to sleep for four hours. Yeah. Um, I, 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 I want to attune with this falcon as well. Fuck you. Falcon. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, thank you, sir. That's, That's what fine. I was thinking. Um, yeah. Scott Buckley and, um, uh, do, 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 uh, Theobald want to be attuned to their items so i think having someone to relieve um because we need enough to get through I eight mean, hours the thing is I'm... um with with long and short rests you'll be fine as long as you don't do anything strenuous yeah right. um yeah. i've not got dark vision or anything like that I yeah don't... uh you can I'll take on... one round of watch i don't mind doing do, doing the watch like yeah, gig mist and school go school go go like take you a few watch watches the between eight them. that we need yeah. right so Joe can do half and then we can have two people do a set, a set of two right so i and we're fine then okay so if someone just what what sleep does everyone need cuz i only need 4 hours of zoning out Keeping watch is can be taken as part of your long rest. Right. Oh, but typically, you don't keep watch for more than two hours, which is why I'm saying hmm. two hours shift, which is why we need three people. Scott Dougie does four, and then two other people do two, which is eight hours, and then we wake up in the morning. Okay. Uh, so, Geek can do two, which means we need one more person to do two hours. Mist can do the other two, she has dark vision. Misty, boom, done. Okay, uh, what odds are we doing, Nathan? I'll go first, so I can okay. sleep. Skadugri goes first and do four, okay. And then, uh, does Missy want to take the second or third? And uh, whichever. Sorry, I can't hear you over Reese going. Sorry, sorry, not nom, too. Nom, nom, nom. I'm not. I'm not bothered. Sorry. I, I'm not nomming. Okay. I just hear like some like rustling on your end. Oh, um, uh, okay. Yeah, uh, that's Emily nomming, not me. Oh, it's Emily. Okay. Uh. Gig will take second watch then, <laughs> and then this can take third. Okay, so let's get set up. Um, I've got some wooden stakes in my rope. Um, to yeah, Misty will most likely spend time with the dragon. Make it to uh, you haven't had much luck with that. Uh, yeah. Help good. action, help action. Oh, I'm so glad oh, <laughs> Thank God for the help action. <laughs> What that that one got on the help on the um counter? No, because health action advantage. He, yeah, he's got on that twenty. Yeah, trip wire looks beautiful. Not only is it effective, it looks sexy as hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll give it. Skullduggery gives a small round of applause. Is Skullduggery aroused by the trip wire? <laughs> no. <laughs> Skullduggery just. <laughs> Skullduggery just clapping. <laughs> oh, haunting I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. He has no genitalia. That 
doesn't mean well, anything. Yeah. Well, he's on the well, just one big bell. <laughs> Let's not go there. Let's not go there. Okay. So, tripwire set up. Is there anything that anyone else wants to do before we uh, rest? During the first watch period, instead of sleeping, Lone Strad is gonna go through the caravan and just try and see if there's anything else useful in there. Uh, roll one more investigation check. Alright. I'll, I'll give one more to do that breakfast, that's a stream. Yeah. You find a few things. <laughs> God damn it, you're gonna get another fucking weapon, aren't you? Mm. Um, yeah. So Higgs, uh, here's what you find. Natural twenty, god damn it. You find Oh shit. <laughs> Ev okay, everyone's going through the caravan while we're keeping watch on us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Um so we might not want to be doing that during that. Time. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. I'll do it sort of after my first shift then. <coughs> uh if you do okay. it after you no no no. If you do it after your shift, then you won't have enough time Elliot? to rest. Yeah. You find okay, so a great sword. Do it in the morning. Ooh. Okay, okay. I'll do it in the morning. Um, I'll just Big brain. chuck the great sword in my pack. I don't plan on using it. Okay. Um, Higgs, you find a a red pendant. Mm. Yeah. Do you mind going to that pendant to be a little... I'll have a look at it if you want. Yeah, I've back, because I've uh, not looked at it and I need you to understand it. Me neither, but I'm going to have a look anyway. Uh, <laughs> okay, so, Lucy, you find... You find a dead rat in the corner. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Precisely what I wanted. <laughs> Only but if you get to your um, having pet. a pet crab, yeah. he has a dead rat. Can imagine it's uh, like Daniel and Vito just going, this, this. I love this. That's a perfect play. <laughs> So then... Okay, uh, how does the watch pass? If that's all the roles roll for people perception. who are going through the van. Those who are on watch roll perception. Yeah. Uh, but twice because, you know, I'm doing essentially two shifts. Okay. Oh. We're all gonna die. Oh god! Oh, we're all gonna die. Gonna die. Uh, Everything Emily, seems fine. Um, you're not on shift yet. Your watch passes without. That's fine. That was a misclick. Your watch passes without anything happening. Huh? Okay. So, um, gig comes up, yawning and stretching to relieve uh, Skullduggery of their watch. Skullduggery just sort of like clings onto the um. Uh, guitar and just zones out, just okay. looking into the distance. He kind nothing. of gives them a weird look, but takes up their guard. That's uh, okay. He's very sweet. Shut up. You're weird. <laughs> he hasn't actually watched Skullduggery sleep. It's it's quite a natural reaction, I would assume. Yeah. Yeah. Is anyone paying attention to the fairy dragon, by the way? Yeah, we're just inspiring to it. Uh, the dragon my... is in Skullduggery's hey. ribcage. It's gone. Oh! Oh, oh shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Misty okay. has honey on her. You press the digitation, it's got rid of her honey. You press the digitated, but yeah, we but have she the has alchemical the jug. Alchemical but jug and stuff. Gig, you spot the fairy dragon hanging upside down like a bat using its tail grouped around a tree branch. Good damn it. How far away is it? About 10 feet above you. Above. Um, does it appear to be sleeping? It's snoring. Okay, so it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Is there anything else that 
I noticed besides the fairy dragon. You watch a spider eat a fly. But besides that, it's quite uneventful. Okay. Um, as Misty comes to take her watch, Gig kind of makes a hushing gesture to the end of his snout and points up towards the dragon. Okay. She nods. And just, uh, rubs her eyes a little bit. Yeah. Actually, brawl perception this time. Yeah. I'm thankful for that, and that one didn't mean anything. You spot movement in the distance. Mm -hmm. Not coming closer. It's just passing by. Four legs. I note it. And oh, um, look up to the dragon. The dragon is shaking. I offer the dragon honey. It's like the jar, the other it jar, honey. Awake and it's staring at the thing. Hmm. Can I light a flame in my hand? You can try. Do you have the spell tongues of flame? No, but I do have fireball and I can hold it in my hand if I need to. So you're gonna hold a firebolt in your hand. Oh, prepared action firebolt. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to designate a trigger for the attack, though. That's in that one. Oh, oh no, no, that's shit. cocked. That's cocked. Oh, that's cocked. That's cocked. Oh, my God. I thought it was in that one yeah. that you just rolled, though. No, it's cocked. It is cocked. You know, maybe you have to use something else for Okay. Yeah, it's the fine. The, dra the, dragon, the dragon eats magic. So he can just numb on the fireball if he wants. The creature passes. The dragon calms down and... Just what? numbs on the fireball. Yep. Hum. Smoke comes out of its little nostril. <laughs> Misty just looks at his, like... Well, you're useful, I suppose. Yay, yep, useful! He actually puts little hand, <laughs> its little front claws in the air as it does that. <laughs> Yay, yep, useful! <laughs> So we can use, in essence, if we take care of the dragon, we can use it as kind of like a proximity alert for the shade. That, or potentially, we don't know what it is. That's interesting. Get, just scare it every shift. time. That's the end of your shift. Okay. Okay. Oh, good morning, everyone. Right. Do okay. we do? Um, do we have the? Are we, are we good with our weapon? Weapon yes. and guitar? Yes. Yes, you are now able to use. Oh, oh yeah. I, I need to. Oh, ask. I, well, I used um... it before. I created Wonderwall. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't need to roll with disadvantage now. Right. Right. Um. So we're both so... Things, like spent spent his box basically that sheer off helmet still on just like swinging it round. Okay. Just because I'm curious, Wait, uh, for those of us that had tea from Ichabod and still have temporary hit points, how much longer are they going to persist? They're going to persist until you use them. Until they're okay. Gone. All right. Ooh. Okay. Um, I was just wondering. But yeah, when when you guys like it's long rest and they go away. Uh, with the guitar, you're able. You have one use of a. You have one use of a level a fifth level sleep spell. Jeez. Fifth level sleep spell. Every twenty four hours with that guitar. And that function oh, is essentially a plus one weapon. So sorry, if oh so which well, uh, I'm very I'm uh, sorry, I'm just trying to find the sleep spell so I can put it on. I think at yeah. fifth level you add more dice. Yeah. You 
basically add more dice, so yeah. whenever you cast so, it, you get a free casting it of 5th level. I assume that that's without expending the spell slot. That's without expending the spell slot. Okay, yeah. So that just once per day when um, you want Um, sleep. This spell, level sleep. this spell sends Guaranteed. creatures into magical Sorry, slumber. Do I, to, do I need to add anything to my uh, potion? I'll sort that out for Let you now. Yeah, okay. Thank when you, you cast a spell uh, using uh, 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 yep. using a spell slot of second level or high, roll additional 2d8 for each spell slot above first level. Above first? Yeah, sleep is a first level spell. Okay, so... So, casting it with... Casting at a fifth Three. level, you get an extra 8d8. Hold on, so I'll, I'll uh, do it so you can see the spell card. There you go. Thank you. Because so, Misty, Misty has this as a spell. So at fifth level, you roll an extra eight d eight, which means you roll thirteen d eight. Okay. So. Yes, yeah, it's, it's it, it originally is five d eight, but <laughs> so for for good. each level, each spell, each spell level over first, you get an extra two d eight. Right. I'll put. Should I put that in spells? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright. Sorry, I was just testing. And put it under your fifth. Uh, under your yeah. le fifth level. I mean, my, mic, my mask might be off because I've been drinking. Is that 104 Sorry. maximum? What? what 13d8? Um. Hold on, let me actually use a pen. Uh, 80 plus. 18, 24. No, you're right, 104 potential maximum. It's yeah, unlikely potential. that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that you'd but... hit 104. But you can only use that once per day. Yeah, it's once per day. It's, unlike... yeah, it's unlikely to get that many nat 8s. It's, it's yeah, highly unlikely to get because... that many natural 8s. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're highly unlikely to hit that. Yeah, but like, average is going to be 50 something. At the something. very minimum, 13. Yeah. yeah. I'll just yeah. stick it out. If you get really unlucky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um. Gig is going to have a look in the caravan to see if there's anything of use before we set off. Just because. Uh... If anyone wants any last few checks of for the merchant caravan, yeah. roll an investigation. Yeah. It's because Gig didn't properly check. He had a glance around trying to find more honey, that's found a, a body instead. That, that's so the thing. I'm just, just going to have a look Just give me a moment, though. I'm just adding sleep in. I would yeah. like something yeah. useful for my sorcerer, but it's very hard to get used things that are useful for sorcerers. And I've got a red pendant. Oh, no. I don't know. And a red pendant. Jesus. Uh, yeah, yeah, um, yes. uh, that yeah, pendant. That was... uh, who had that pendant? Uh, uh, me. Sam. Yeah, okay. Hey, that pendant is a pendant of fire resistance. Yeah. Ooh. Huh. Clever. Yeah. For some reason, I thought okay. it was um, the soup dub would be of the warm age. Go in order of who rolled. So, yeah. first gig. Gig. You find. Let me just roll my treasure dice. Uh, Can I have I advantage because just... I've got the dragon with me? I just gotta confirm something real quick, Gig, alright? Yep. Build up suspension. <laughs> build, up, build up suspense. Yeah. <laughs> like, I've. I wasn't expecting to find anything. It was buckets of gig didn't get to have a proper look, so he's having a look to see if there's anything which maybe could be useful to somebody. You find a crossbow with seven explosive bolts. Specifically, what variant? Light crossbow. With seven okay. explosive bolts. Okay. You could probably whittle the bolts down, just at hand pressure. Uh, Aren't crossbows hand then... crossbows anyways? Light crossbow. Basically, the light crossbow is a smaller crossbow, much like a pistol. So, I believe Gig should be able to hold this one. Um, I need... 
need to check because um, I think this comes under um, a martial weapon. I don't think it's for. If it was um, a hand crossbow, rogue. Light crossbow get... has the property of uh, properties of range, loading, two handed. Most crossbows are martial arts. It's a simple. Yeah, I, it I it falls under simple weapons, weapons, I believe. It's a simple one. Oh, it's a simple so... weapon? Oh, he, yeah. He, he can utilize it. It's going to be. Okay. It's, it's simple weapon. Awkward so... as hell for him to. <laughs> it, it's you should be able to use it. Oh, yeah. yeah, I need to remember the damage dice one thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, just Google light crossbow. Hatch in the corner of the room. All right, I'm just gonna go. Yeah, yeah. It's an escape hatch from Dead by Daylight. Oh yay! I, 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 I knew this is gonna go wrong, but fuck it. <laughs> oh fuck. Double D right. double die, double D double die. As you open it, you feel a bolt hit you in the shoulder. Gig. Roll a con save. Oh, is it like a poison arrow? Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so. Oh shit, it doesn't. You take three points of piercing damage. Yep. And now. I'm just gonna say this now. Mm -hmm. On this tip is Fairy Dragon Secretion. So you are now high. Hey, that's a bonus. All right. Mm. And you fall into the, and you fall in. All right. I might as well have a look around whilst I'm down there. Okay. Roll. Okay. Now you do find something in down there with that investigation. What? Whilst oh, also no. being stupidly high. Yeah. You find a very. Very strange looking, really quite large blade. Ooh la la. Alright, um, yeah, can I try and <laughs> investigate it before I touch it for anything this time? Yeah, roll investigation. It's a really nifty ass blade, it's red, the blade is red. Alright, so I'm gonna try and pick this up and brace for fucking impact. So you touch it? Yes, I do. You feel the highness leave you. Okay. That's a shame, but okay. But you feel something stab your palm. Alright. It gonna activates your blood right. Ooh la la. Alright. And right. it's a yeah. and it's a double bladed glaive. Ooh. You know okay. how Thanos is? Uh, afraid not. I'm not. I'm not. Oh. Afraid. Just type in Thanos sword. All right. Thanos claps cheeks. Do 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 do. Thanos sword. Ooh, okay. Okay. I like the look of this. You have that. Ooh, ooh, okay, I'm happy with this. <laughs> and yeah. also And it activates my blood right. Yep. As in does it activate my blood right without me taking a lengthy damage? Or Yeah, it does. Ooh. Alright. Alright, yeah, I'm very happy. Yeah. I'll I I'll be working with that in a moment. I'll get the I'll put the uh, stuff because that's a custom thing. Yeah, you also no get two attacks with that. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. That means I don't okay. need to take um, fucking coal arm or no. whatever it is. Hang on. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that was you. Higgs. So it has a multi attack property based. Yeah. He has a multi attack property now. Fuck yeah. Okay. So then, Higgs. Okay. So. With with uh, Lone Strider opening up this very this uh, little hatch, you you have a look inside. Yeah. You have a look inside, and there is a vet something shining right in the back. I'm just gonna go see what it is. 
Okay. One moment. If you don't get fucking poisoned in hives, fuck, I'm gonna be annoyed. <laughs> in fact, have yeah. I still got that bolt? That I got yeah, you with? still have that bolt. Yeah, I'm just gonna prod. Um, people. <laughs> Wait, is it the bolt? The, yeah. the yeah. secretion is no longer on the bolt. Fuck. Okay. Yeah. They basically tried to hit the me with Theobald, you needle. find a pendant of your god. Hell fucking yes. Okay. Now then, Skullduggery. Yep. You find... A mask of many faces. Ooh. What's that? It's a <laughs> mask which you put on and you can look like any... Anyone you wish. Any person Holy you wish. Holy shit. You got yourself like a fucking disguise kit on steroids. Yeah. That is neat. So, you know... You, you so you won't be scaring young skeleton. children. You could just chuck on that mask and you won't look like a talking skeleton. Yeah. If you could look like your old self uh, again. Just be yeah. sure to cover up the rest of your body. No, it, okay. so it covers everything. It surrounds from everything. Oh. Okay, just because Ooh. I'm a skeleton does not on steroids. make me scary. It's because I accidentally said I knew her aunt, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, I remember. Alright, and finally, Misty. Mm. I mean, if we ever have to go in where, where we're you not find a weapons. gauntlet. Why do I need a gauntlet? What type of gauntlet? Do you want to test the gauntlet? I'm going to investigate this thing. Bah. Oh. Seems like a shiny gauntlet. It, it looks, looks leather. It's well kept leather gauntlet. It's just she's, a glove. She's just gonna like be cautious about this because like quite a lot of things in here have been like trapped or magical. So she's gonna see if she can pick up any magic from it. Oh fuck. It's magical. Lucy. <laughs> it is magical. Okay. She's just gonna poke it. It wraps itself on your hand, and you feel your feel your hand become very warm. Oh no! Is it a living glove? I think. A minute. Oh no! What is this? You now have the ability to cast fireball. Oh, oh no! Wow. Oh no! We did the oh. three times. Didn't, don't I already day. have fireball as a spell? Uh, okay, this is we're level no, I don't. two. I this have is chaos ball. <laughs> Fireball's like a level three spell. I you know. got it. Yeah, it's third you level. You guys are getting like weapons. I got a guitar and a mask. <laughs> yeah, we're wow. gonna, something big is gonna come in the hey. Don't I need to hey. like? This crossbow um, is attuned very to this? unwieldy yeah. for I'll DJ to handle. An I... eye opens up. Can, hey, can you... Oh god. <laughs> so, Mistress, you know, oh no. You know in, like, in games where mm -hmm. you find a room full of ammo and there's, there's a save like, checkpoint? Do you have a name? Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's right. basically this point, but... Yeah. Also... But, like, instead of armor, you get a mask and a guitar. <laughs> I'm gonna like let give can, uh, tell you something here. Use um use it when you're holding something. Yes. School Duggery. Jesus Christ. Yeah. You do wow. realize you have the identify spell, right? Yes, I do. What? That doesn't. That Who? means you can identify items for people. But oh, it yes. wait it it, it it burns spell it slots unfortunately. Mean. But the thing is, that's Actually, the, the it casting. is it. You can cast. The thing is, you can ritual cast it. It is a yeah, ritual. It is castable as a ritual. Okay, so Lucy, you find a piece of parchment. <laughs> it's just ooh, piece of paper. Paper. Oh, okay. <laughs> a piece of paper and, and, a, it, and it has uh, something and a written, written on it. Is it a spell? Is oh, it a spell okay. scroll? No, it's not a spell scroll. How many times per day, by the way? Three times. Oh, you. You, can also, 
get fireball three times a day and we're second level. We're gonna blow oh, through no. encounters like nothing else at this rate. What's the gauntlet? I asked the gauntlet what his name is. Blaze. 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 Of course. The function starts talking. Oh, hi, Blaze. <laughs> oh, Actually, oh, sentient. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, hi, baby. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm, I'm kidding. The falchion does not actually talk. That's dumb. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's all part of fun. I wanted to see how Theobald's religion would explain that. Yeah. <laughs> That's blessed. Blessed by God. <laughs> Stalking through. <laughs> all right, then. Especially when the falchion starts talking about right. all the innocent. What's written on the parchment so we can wrap that up because you mentioned there was egg unwritten sounds function. from the fairy dragon edge egg be able to make secretion soon enough be able to daze opponents with said secretion and possibly make a good bit of money with fairy dragon secretion yet to find oh. a name for it we can become drug lords no, it's not that. I think what it is... It's a documentation. Is you can... We need alchemical supplies, which I think Misty has. <laughs> Misty has alchemist supplies, yes. Yeah. She I also has proficiency. She also has proficiency with alchemy kit, so... Mm -hmm, yeah. If we yeah. get on the good side of the dragon and we keep it along, no, 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 no. there could be a way to make... Like tipped arrows, which like incapacitates things. I don't know. You say arrows. I'm thinking we sell the design, design a drug and we make a fortune for the dwarves. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm thinking. Because my thing is, I do, don't it's think awesome. we can coat weapons in the stuff. Because if you coat weapons stuff, it would be good for one use. This is why I'm thinking arrows and other projectiles like darts. No, yeah, no, no, but no. We sell but yeah, um. Deliberately. Misty, Misty has proficiency. Put... Yeah, Misty has proficiency <laughs> with alchemy kit. If we do that, I think you need to like, to talk. I just need to first off, like I think we should actually okay. sell it. We'd like if we sell it, we would like dip it in the uh, uh, what call it arrows in it first. Yeah. We keep the no. We, we're going to keep death yeah. for dragons. But um, so can... Misty does have proficiency with an alchemy kit, and she does have yeah. al an alchemy kit on her. We'll right. figure this out down the line if uh, the information oh. is shared about. But yeah. I think um, that's an idea given the, given what it did to the uh, what crossbow that bolt tipped arrow did to Lone Strider. Yeah, um, guys, I think we've, we've, we've gone to the point where we all try and so start the small the business. Damage. And now it's well, I'm not. I'm. I'm the same as across thinking about it practically, and it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah we're we're going going to to <laughs> extra fire <laughs> damage. <laughs> we, yeah, like the I mean, we're headed yeah. to a market. Right. D4, um, D5, D6. Are we happy D6. to D6. head D6. on out for the next day of travel? So or should I give him another crossbow? Yeah, yeah. Or? In, in that case, before we, just because, what do these explosive bolts yeah, do? Just because I'm doing the attack entry for crossbow the crossbow, crossbow if these bolts have an extra the, effect I the know. light crossbow yeah yep yeah it's because yeah it does a second the... type of damage i'll put in for you yeah you, 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 you can put that in for me it's just <laughs> not used to different like additional ammo all right shall we set off right yep yeah. Set off, same monster. Uh, oh, don't um, don't leave the dragon. Uh, okay. Pick up my, Misty could uh, Misty could fire. carry carry the dragon. Yeah. Just have a vial of honey in your hand at all times. Oh, she she has the alchemy jug. jug. You see, it's been broken. Sorry. The dragon's been broken. Uh, no, no, the trip wires. The, the trip wire that Lone Strider made. Has been broken. Uh, no... Misty just has okay. his alchemy jug okay. full of honey. For the dragon. It, it didn't wake any of us up or anything. So. Right. But you do see footprints. Okay. Uh, if, anyone, if anyone on guard see anything. Footprints. 
Uh, I... Gig. Yeah, I'd like to check these footprints. I'd like to find out anything I can about them. Okay. Well, survival. Yes, same. Oh shit. Uh. You said undead, right? I, I swear I've got something to do with undead being a bloody. Ah, fuck it. I can't be able to find it. <laughs> I can't be bothered with this shit. Yeah, the I shade roll survival. Can I try shade? and figure it out? Okay, we go in the opposite direction, right? <laughs> well, oh, the thing is, gonna... if we just avoid it, then potentially we're gonna not go where we want to go, and thus potentially put ourselves in more danger. Where's Friends. Sebastian? Oh shit! Um... <laughs> where are Sebastian and Serena? That's a good question. Okay. Are they around? Perception checks. Right. Can we? We'll, we'll have a look for them. So yeah. Perception. I'll have a glance. Where the hell are Sebastian and Serena? Oh, thank fuck. <laughs> they are gone. <laughs> They're can just we, gone. Can I tell which direction? Oh, what, what does it matter? <laughs> you look. Because. It well, does matter. They Basically, were. We we that was a level 5 warlock. Well, higher. Then he'll be fine on his own. Yeah, okay. but we could have used him. Actual serious question. Can we tell which direction? So, hmm. You spot so we left. can't. Shit. Oh, okay. Uh, can we spot. Uh, are the footsteps theirs? No, the footsteps are the shades. Shit. Um. Because yeah. he only had one life left. We have to follow yep. the shades. He, he has the... one death saving throw left, I think. No, no, no. One death yet, left. Actually. Yeah. yeah, he had one death saving throw. Oh shit. We have to follow the. We have to follow them. We have to move quick. We do have to move know? quick. I mean, do we have to? Okay. I mean, the the is, okay. We're more... This tiefling, okay. The this we're tiefling more... got us to the druid, okay? But the thing is, we are the tiefling, we don't know if we can, if we can call on her help. So and they can am, also be a valuable ally if we can get to them. I am pretty we sure need to that find them. Still, Dugri can call on Ichabod to help us. Oh, fucking hell, no. That is my laptop I, I, to I next. will say this now. The Shade's footprints are going in the opposite direction to... The Dwarven City. I say we press on to the Dwarven City. I think we should press on, because if we like level up and become stronger, we're more useful to them than we are if we go now and die. The thing is though, if we leave them, and we go, if we go on, we don't know, I mean, what do you say? It, it was an uh, an additional day's travel to get there. Another day's travel to get to the stronghold from where you. Okay, are. just to get there. We don't know what we'll have to do to even get in. If there's anything we'll we'll have to do mm. to get in, we don't know what what may happen inside. We don't know how long we could be there. So you're right. It, so if we press forward, that and it, if the tiefling, the tiefling knows um the druid, and the druid told us to go to this place, and maybe having the tiefling wood of this would have, like, would maybe help us like build any friendships yeah. with whoever's in this stronghold. Yeah, yeah. we so, need to go and get them. Let's go get. So does anyone desperately not want to go get them? I am strongly against it because we saw what the shade did. To Ichabod. Ichabod was terrified of the shade. A level yeah. 20 was terrified yeah. of the shade. Well, in it. Oh, actually, hmm. Alright. Reese, I'm going to ask you the same question that I did before. But okay. The thing is, the, what the would shade... I need to roll? One second. What would I need to roll to stupid. make sure that Gig understands the gravity of the situation? Because I understand. But I need to make sure that Gig understands fully. I will need you to roll an intelligence roll. check. And a also, straight intelligence. Yeah, I also need Misty to roll a perception check real quick. Another one. Oh, fuck. 
Okay, straight into urgence. Okay, oh, pain in the ass. Okay. You don't know the gravity of the situation. Ah, uh, Gig doesn't know. Okay, uh, so. Dragon's with her. Okay, so Gig only knows that Sebastian and Serena are gone, right? He doesn't the understand dragon, why. The dragon seems to be pulling on something from the nearby bushes. I run over. I, I run over and like. Try and help Wait, it. Uh... I think only Misty spots this. Yeah, well, only, only Misty, Misty spots, spots that. Oh shit, sorry. Only sorry. Misty spots that. She's gonna go over and see what it's pulling at. You see a hand. A little girl's hand. <laughs> oh god, no. God damn it. Oh well. Um. Oh, uh, Misty, uh, oh, Misty's gonna Misty crouch come. down to the little dragon and say, um, little one, could you track the sand from this? I, I, I kind of took it from over those bushes. You see the dragon. <laughs> so, the dragon just turtles off into those bushes. Do you follow it? Yeah. There's okay, Serena. do any of us notice the um, top Half Misty going off. The top half of Serena. Yeah. Um, guys! I'm trying to... Okay. Uh, Gig would I'm definitely guessing it, go it, over I know how she died. Yeah. Without even, like, having to look. Well... Use my ability. So... Are you sure you want to do that? I'm like... Serena's been cleaved in two, correct? Am I going to have to use Memories of the Fallen to see what killed her? Up to you. Um, there seems to be a very obvious cause of death. Well, yeah, of course, I mean, the death is obvious, but I remember what did what it? happened last time that you did this. Yeah, it's a wisdom. It's a it's a con save anyway, so to, for that personality shift anyway. So. Oh, so guys, now you know it's Misty who pulled it off. Right. Uh, uh, call. Uh, We've all just heard her call. We've all just heard her call. Misty calls and then she sits down, sits down and does mem uh, uses her ability. Okay. Okay. So, so uh, she's kind of zoned out when you get to her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you guys discover okay. the top half of Serena. Right. Well, <laughs> we lost the child, but we found the dragon. I That's now need to describe what happened. Yes. Yeah. Are you going to be relaying this? Yeah. Okay. Oh, and Gig is actually here for this relay. Oh, no. So, Misty. A snap of twigs disturbed you. You... You're in her eyes right now, so... You nudge Sebastian awake. And he's like, no, no. And then the two of you wander into the woods deeper and deeper until finally this massive creature the shade i'm guessing seems to just something wanders out of the fog underneath him a man an elven man he snaps his fingers can't scream. He points at the two of you. The shade pounces on Serena <laughs> and he's about to get her when Sebastian grabs this thing using his claws, holding its jaws open. He's telling Serena, run! He's trying to mouth, he's mouthing out, run to Serena. As he's holding back this creature. And you watch. As the claws. <laughs> fall on the ground in front of him. And you watch as the shade. <laughs> picks him up in its jaws. And runs off with him. Into the night. This man wanders over to Serena. You try to get up. But your legs seem, you seem unable to move. Next thing you know, this creature seems to grow bigger and bigger and bigger. 
octopus tendril spurts out of its chin. You feel tentacles wrap around your mid-waist. Your lower half is torn from your body. Um, black. Not yet. You hear one word before it goes black. Jesus. You should write an inspection of these books. <laughs> Are there any visible um, tracks from this spot? When yes, when uh, Misty just comes out of it, she looks down solemnly and is like, Well, the shade has Sebastian. And as you can see, Serena is dead. I think, um, uh, do we know, did, do you, did you re recount, like, yeah, all the... Yeah, she did. Yeah. yeah. Alright, um... Well, at least we know. Uh, we can make a ma nice map out of this guy's skin. Yes, yes, I was gonna say that, yeah. Um, uh... but yes, uh, there, there is a, uh, wire octopus that seems to be controlling the shade as well. Could it be a, a were octopus, or... Well, well I could see. I don't know. They looked elven, and then for some reason, octopus tentacles sprouted from them. So oh, it could be one or the them. other. Um, if you give me a little bit of time, I'm gonna say goodbye to Serena. Of course, of course. Um, should we bury her, or I think we should. Uh, um, uh, Misty, do I, do I remember the last that you, she used. Um, Misty, Misty is actually gonna, M Misty's actually gonna copy the last rites that Sabrina that Sabrina was taught because she she you... knows uh, Misty knows Infernal. Oh okay. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so Misty's Misty's gonna um try and like mimic what Sabrina did. That might, that might not be a good idea. We don't have salt, what, what she used. Uh, yeah, to... I have an alchemist's kit. Her satchel no, but... is next to her, spilled out over the ground. Right. I also have an alchemist's kit. Yeah, yeah the, okay. The black candle's not in the alchemist's kit. Mm. But there mm. is one last little bit. Mm. Uh, Skull oh, agreed to decide to walk away. The wax and put it he in, doesn't want in to your see paw, though. Gig is standing by. He looks a little bit sad, but th there's this fire, like, kind of behind his eyes. She also has proficiency with herbalism, so... Is her... I thought herbalism was a intelligence. Herbalism is intelligence, isn't it? Or wisdom? I don't remember what, what these kits use. Yeah. But I'll put it on wisdom for say, now. Uh, you guys can talk amongst yourself whilst the DM uses the other DM's turn. Okay. But, um, I mean, I definitely want to try and find Sebastian's claw. What does it take to mimic uh, Arcana? The, the crab claws. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. he's a big oh, oh, like, oh, for fuck's sake. That's a 12. B, that's, you could sell that as a delicacy oh, to the yeah. dwarves. No! Yeah. No. You are not. I mean, she has chill touch as well. Corpse. No, but as a necrotic it's spell. It's, it's already gone. Uh, yeah, the need to... I mean, we yeah. still not want that, am I? Well, yeah. have... the shade already to... has Sebastian. We can try and rescue him. Yeah. But if he does not have his, if his claws are not there, you shouldn't take the claws. Okay. I don't think we're gonna magically fuse back on. Is Misty um, actively performing the the ritual? Misty will be trying to perform the ritual. Yes. Okay. She has to do it. She yeah. has to. I have to roll Arcana with a disadvantage. So if someone wants to like assist. Help action. Yeah. Help action. I'll do oh, help action. Give you to uh, give advantage. inspiration as well, if that would help. 
uh, oh, yeah. Oh, funny. Inspiration would, would like... Well. Oh, God. Well, it depends on the... I mean, I'm not looking at the roll, but, I mean, it would lessen the 12. But I, right. I just, yeah. Inspiration's like an extra D8, isn't it? I think, yes. Yeah, but inspiration is D8. Uh, help action is just... No, help action would cancel out the disadvantage. It would cancel out the disadvantage, yeah. It's a D6. It's D8 at 6th level. Does anyone want it? What is it? Uh, Bardic Inspiration. It's a D. It's Best an extra D6. Inspiration. Oh, is it D6? Uh, Misty, I'm going to give you an extra D6 then. This. So I, I don't want to. I don't want to spoil. So really that right. that so... would up the twelve up to a sixteen then. Okay. So With that four the roll. help action from gig cancels out disadvantage, so it's a regular roll. Plus four means like you roll sixteen for the Ar Arcana check, right? Yeah. Okay. That's that. Yeah. Because there's some. It's a sixteen because I got bar I got inspired and helped, so I don't have disadvantage. So... I've just realised it's a Sorry, I was just telling the DM because he just got back. Yeah, because the thing oh, is, doing? we saw the whole thing of one life left. Okay. My assumption, that means it's like one additional life, which means if he loses that one, he's down to his final straw. I don't think the airport has been dead at all, because he's going to be... I think if, if this is going to shade. Like the shade yeah, the shade. The shades really took. Happened. The shade has run off with Sebastian in his mouth. Yeah, I, d yeah. I don't think it was a move to kill him. I think it was a move to take him. And if, if he did have the tentacle, they both are tentacle mouth clutches, then they uh, might be linked as well. Yeah, well, the thing is, I don't think this this guy predicted that there would be a character in the main party that could see the memories of the fallen. No, I don't think so either. Yeah, because we know everything that happened in the village. Because we also, we also, we also now know what year. happened to uh, Sebastian and uh, S Serena because of uh, Misty's ability. Okay, uh, Elliot and Emily. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The two of you work together on this. You both help with the brimstone circle around this poor child. Oh, hold on, I fucked up when I did my roll. Yeah, no, it's it only a click, Misty uh, with Bardic Inspiration. Oh, okay. So it's a 16 roll okay. with the help action to... It's a 16 roll with disadvantage the help to action to, to cancel out disadvantage. Okay. okay. So this is help is help. Sink, uh... Make the brimstone circle around her yeah. torso. You don't know where her legs are gone. Mm. <laughs> legs have probably been eaten. I wonder if she could still race through the walls. One second, guys. Okay. <laughs> oh, um. Oh, Scott Dugry, you wanted a pair of toes. Oh, shut <laughs> up! <laughs> no. Okay. Think they might fit. I would assume. Okay, Emily, would Misty when Misty finishes all of this? Hmm? I'll, I'll, what I'll kind of position out. will she be in? I'll, I'll sort out the cat. Okay. I'll be back momentarily. You were saying? When Misty finishes up the ritual, what kind of position will she be in? Um, that would depend. Um, As it was, we, we have a lot of people with purple pings. I'm, I'm going to change my color. Um, so... Oh, that's better. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I was just wondering, like, where is she going to be, like, standing, sitting, she's going to be, like, on her knees, those kinds of things. Yeah, I, I, I was wondering, like, would uh, Misty be, like, stood up, would she be kneeling, would she be sat, um, like, she'll, just... She'll be, like, give me knelt, an idea. essentially, like, her tail, like, she'll be knelt down, but her tail's, like, tucked underneath her as well. Okay. That's actually ideal because it brings the heights down. Okay. This should work out okay then. I have to wait until 
we see if this ritual worked. Um, but yeah, as <sighs> I think I might have to make a wisdom save for her though. Sorry, I can't say for her. Oh, is this for the change of form as well? For uh, the personality shift, it's just yeah, a personal shift. thing. Yeah. Yeah. As it happened when we were with uh, Samantha and Ichabod. Hmm? I don't know. I'll talk to them. Mike's not. Uh, stream can hear you. So okay. Um. Well, when remember that you have two more bardic inspiration for the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So. I will be right back. Um. Whilst we're waiting for Misty to return, can I try and find Sebastian's claws? Oh my god. Yes. No. Roll a perception yeah. check. Sure. I'm, I'm telling you, this is going to be useful if I can find them. Oh, um, my shit's free. Yeah, uh, you find Christ. them. Oh, god. Right, I have, you were joking before, and you actually have a plan. They're yeah, broken. broken. Oh well. Oh, I was stuffing my backpack. But you find them. You have two right. weircraft uh, claws. Yep. I Into the backpack. Them. I'll save them. Um, uh, yeah, so the, the carapace on it is all shattered, right? Yeah, the carapace is shattered. That's a shame. I was thinking of putting it on my shield. Um, yeah, I'll just keep it. <laughs> okay. Could we, like, bury a bit of it? Like, because, no. you know. No, because... Go back again. To the best of... Our assumptions, Sebastian had an additional life left. That's to your assumption. I reckon he's yeah. only got this one. I think, I think he's dead. dead. I, I, I think he's going to be kept alive by this jade and tortured for a bit. But I don't really think. Well, I mean, I mean I'm also an optimist with these kinds of things, so. Yeah. I'm a realist. I, I, I think he's, he's probably dead, dead though. He's already yeah. dead. Oh. It's well, not that do you. <laughs> Not remember what the the thing in the vision said. Hmm. Death, Death is not, just the yeah. beginning. Yeah. Death, Death is just the beginning. Didn't, didn't you say that to told you we Serena, made yeah. Yeah. Just so you guys Even know, that was a reference to a older movie. Uh, I don't get the reference, so I'm taking it as story that's focus fine, as I can. <laughs> um, so theoretically, guys. If Sebastian is killed by this thing, what do you think concept? he could do if he was sent after us? Um, I think we should. A just... lot of bad shit. However, we have his claws, not much. If, however, if potentially he is alive and we can get him back. So, guys. Yes. Yep. You watch as Misty pours the uh. black wax into her palm as the last of it extinguishes. She slams her fist three times. And the torso. White blue flames ablaze in Serena's eyes. And she turns to Misty, her jaw open. It, it bottom jaw's gone. <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't a laughing moment, was it? She's gonna maintain control. Well. You wanna yeah. write down yeah. what you've said? Just in case, um, <laughs> Gig has his, Gig has his short bone drawn and has an arrow readied just in case something goes poorly. Does someone like, want to try and proceed what she just said? 
Uh, uh, he he does not know Abyssal or Infernal, uh, so it would be pointless for him to try. Just One sec, what, what language? Check. Common, but common. she's talking oh. about her bottom jaw. Oh, oh it's got oh, common. Okay, so, so I can just roll a straight int. Gig, nice. she's saying Victor. Victor? Right. Wait, is it? Yeah, it's a mm. table. Is it perceived to... Okay, can I try and perceive... Steve, if she means Victor as in the Victor, like the winner, or Victor as in a, as in a name. Victor as in a name. A name. Yeah, uh, uh, Elliot, you also hear this. You also hear the word Victor. Okay. Is she trying to tell us something? Yeah. Just remember, guys. Um, there's a difference between just check and a, a save. Yeah, I really. So if that. you're doing um an ability check, it's in the grey box on the very far left. So, no, I'm not like a you save don't get your winner. proficiency bar. Yeah, Check, I yeah. Re -rolled. <coughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, you also hear the words, Victor. And that's all she says, <laughs> besides gurgling. Well, she's either saying we're going to win, or she's naming someone. Misty's so, just gonna yeah. look at so her, is... saddened, and yeah, put her out of her misery. The specificity is that Victor is a person, so... So you're gonna put her out of misery, okay? Yeah. So you break the circle? No. You don't break the circle? No. Roll an attack roll. I cast... I'm casting Tilt Touch, she's Angela. Okay. Roll it. Yep, damage. She freezes and shatters. Misty just sighs and says, uh, mutters quietly, rest in peace. Okay. So I need to make a note. Like, rest well. Hmm? What? What did you say? Nothing doing. Okay. Um. Skullduggery shakes his head. It, it's not right. We shouldn't. We shouldn't keep bringing people back from the dead like this. Once I turn the skeleton, they end up I'm in sorry. The I didn't have a choice in the matter. They, I mean, they get a few seconds or minutes of that strange experience for them, and they just end up exactly where they were before the ritual. You now have a new spell. That requires components. Hmm. Speak with the undead. That's actually very useful. Okay. Um, That's actually a spell. It requires sulfur and a black candle. Yeah, speak with dead is a natural spell. Yeah, but yeah this is it is. Version. I know. Yeah. I've actually. Okay. Um, as Serena's body dissipates, mm. essentially. Yes. Um, That's a bard slash cleric spell. It's a third level necromancy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so essentially I tried to... casting a third level spell. And you now have that once a day. But you do feel drained after finishing Serena off. <laughs> Roll the wisdom save. Oh, uh, okay, we have to do this first. Wisdom save and a con no, save for the personality. Uh, oh, actually, no, is. only Misty needs to make a wisdom save. Yeah. Uh, well, I need to do the whole personality thing if they come out as well. Uh, how, how does this go? You feel fine. Drained and tired, but fine. Okay. Hey, could you, uh... Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I need to do this. Why are you making a new character? I'm not making a new character, I'm doing something else. <laughs> okay. Uh, so. With that done, um, Gig is going to walk up to where Misty is knelt and 
hand on her shoulder and quietly ask her, um, did you hear it too? E yeah, I did. So, do you understand where we must go? Gig almost looks sad. Right before he looked angry at seeing Serena's body desecrated, he just looks sad and almost a little bit distant. You you think we shouldn't save Sebastian and continue with our quest? I don't think we should save him. I think we should get the call. You're not privy to this. <laughs> this is oh, hush hush. This is hush hush. So sorry, I I tried to say. Yeah. I, I, I think um, I've just spoken to him. Yeah. Um, and said, "Yeah, we got the call. We're gonna go." Yeah. <laughs> well. If Serena wanted us to go after Sebastian, I think she would have told us. Perhaps she trusts him. I don't know. But if this Victor person is somewhere, then we need to get to them. What if this Victor person is that creature I saw with the shade? We don't know. I don't know. But we have to try and... We need to figure this out, and he kind of pauses for a moment, like thinking, I think the best way forward is to finish our little travel and ask about this, Victor. If he is someone that can help us, then I'm sure we can persuade them to help us. That if it is turns out if that this they Victor can is help us. Yeah. If it turns out this Victor isn't on our side, then perhaps we can find someone who knows more about them. A way to get rid of them perhaps. So. There is some dark magic on this part, on this island, but I do agree. If Sabrina believes that Sebastian can can make it out, if she like wanted us to save him, she would have said. We should continue forward and see how things play out. Gig um, moves his hand off of um, Misty's shoulder and down towards her, her paw, um, um, suggesting he like to try and help her up. She she uh, accepts his help and uh, just gives him a little head pat. He looks up and gives um. Misty, uh, a, a, a slow nod and turns back to the rest of the group. It seems we have a destination in mind. Let's go. And he walks to the through the rest of the group. Back out yeah. to where the to to where the to where the party had camped. Mm -hmm. What about that? <sighs> yeah. Are you gonna follow Gig? Who who just looks like sad and just walks through all of your van back up towards the path? M yeah. Misty, Misty's just That's gonna follow follow Gig out. I'm gonna follow Gig. Just 
Are, are you alright? He, he, he sighs. His shoulders are hanging quite low. I don't know. But... We have something to do. It seems we have someone that Selena wishes us to meet, so I... we need to find them. I suppose, but that doesn't necessarily mean you have to be alright, both of you. He kind of shrugs. He seems a, a bit death, lost, almost. Death is not a pretty thing. Witnessing or even hearing about death, it's not pretty. I can... I'm... Having witnessed death with visibility many times, it's scary. <laughs> even the first time I did this, it, was, it shocked me. I lost myself the first time. It's just, it changes you. It really does. But we can pull through this together. Um, Sebastian, Seb I sense very strong magic in Sebastian. He should be able to get out of the situation he's in. Lord, I hope so. About death, it's I understand what you mean. It's it's scary, but if it helps, afterwards isn't that bad. Jay kind of turns around briefly and looks at Scott Duggery. I hope I don't ever have to see if you're right. Well, you will eventually. <laughs> you're talking to no, no. Why would you say that? <laughs> because it's true <laughs> he's sad enough as it is and you basically told him you're going to die <laughs> I'm not... I hope it doesn't happen for a long while mm. it will happen just for some time it, in the future it makes life much sweeter don't you think no. knowing it's going to end no knowing it's going to end is the fact of being alive. If if you weren't didn't know you, it was going to end, there'd be no point. We'd have no great medicine, medical accomplishments, or amazing poetry. It's bittersweet. There is honour in death. Exactly. Logan's just trying to grab a mug from this foot. He's going to back up and suggest that we take this chat on the road. Yeah, Gig kind of turns around and says, um, well, if you know it's all going to end, then what is the point to begin with? And just turns and slowly starts off. <laughs> Are you getting it? <laughs> no, 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 you got the wrong message. Because yeah. people keep talking about death as if it isn't so bad. You're impressioning the wrong thing. Yeah. I mean... Yeah. Scott Aubrey's just trying his best, yeah. man. I think, given the he time, might... that is where we may have to call it for this session. The, the only reason why Misty Slate like, talks about death is because she's experienced it. We'll make it to the Dwarven City and that's where we'll call it. Okay, so... On the road again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. But you can always ask Misty, Misty why her personality seems to shift when she sees the shade or why she's so like dormant yeah. about the yeah. idea of death. The thing is, Gig hasn't actively noticed, so... Because, I, because he's also affected and he's more worried about himself at those times. If he notices, then he will ask. But... Okay, uh... 
Do we need uh, s more survival checks? Yes, please. Can I have some survival okay. checks of okay. those who are reading the map? Yes. Who's uh, who's please. reading the map? Who's in front? Oh, yeah. He here's my thing. I'll allow Normally, to help I'll him. Yeah. So I'll count them out twenty. So. Also, yeah. um. Dragons with Beobald, who's up front as well. So if we can walk into anything, he's going to walk into it before me. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for that. Also, the dragon just be clear. Yeah, I was about to say, did we make. Because I think I mentioned it before, mm -hmm. uh, but we didn't confirm before we left out. So it's good to know we do have the dragon with us still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The dragon's just sitting on Missy's shoulders right at the moment. Probably trying to comfort her. Yeah. Yeah. Gig's kind of shuffling behind Misty. Um, it's back there. About there. There mm -hmm. we go. He's sad. His ears are drooping down. Like, really low. Oh, no. Misty's gonna try and, like, playfully sway her tail in front of him. Could... A little bit. <laughs> Fucking tease. <laughs> Can I play a song to try and cheer everyone up? On your finger sleep. Alright, what setting do you put the guitar on? <laughs> what? Yes! Um... Which what kind of... instrument are you playing with uh, your instruments? <laughs> so, I'm not a bagpipe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the yeah, I think that would make everyone... Doesn't work. The bagpipe it... setting doesn't work. Hmm. I'm gonna put it on kazoo. <laughs> You're gonna play the right, kazoo. Roll a performance okay. check. Oh hell yeah. Six. <laughs> Could I have? Oh, Benny Hill on the kazoo. <laughs> Gig just looks very confused as to why a guitar sounds like something that isn't a guitar. <laughs> Magical. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Um. Do how many more rolls do we need to get us through? One more survival roll. Okay. Up front. Mm -hmm. Let's get us there. Choo choo. All right, Elliot. Roll us one more survival check, please, buddy. Come on. Uh, please. That's it, it's, just it's, enough it, to get you to the bottom of the yes, mountain. Yes, I say. As you reach <sighs> the bottom okay. of the mountain, you see a massive stone door with two dwarves holding great axes crossed. Two stone dwarf statues across the door. Can I use my performance to try and distract, like, get persuade them to get me in? Yeah, get us in. We're trying to persuade stone. Oh, stone. <laughs> Okay. I'm um, sorry, I didn't hear that bit. <laughs> are there any more uh, details about? So it's a big stone door, but there and is a these... little wooden handle, just, just the perfect size for, for a gig. <laughs> okay, gig is going to walk up and. Is it evident if it should be pulled or pushed? Uh, it's a knocker. Oh, so gig will take it and. Doon, doon, doon. And kind of a, a slider opens. A, a slider bit. slides back, and you just see a just some green eyes. Yeah, what do you want? Who goes can I, there? Can I um, interrupt and shout out? Yeah. What's um, the name of the droid? You you can yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying. Get, get, so get a chance Selena. to talk. So go. Yeah, uh, if you go yeah. for it. We're adventurers with items to sell and gold to spend. Well, you'd be paying the toll then. Um, uh, um depends on the I toll. mean, you could. Toll is 10 gold turns around and or hold you could always, to, like, um, name drop our friend Lashrider. Selena, who sent us this way. Ah, the druid. S Samantha. Samantha, sorry. <laughs> yeah, Samantha, it was Emily sorry. Who, who got the name wrong this time. Yeah, we come on but behalf yeah. of Samantha. Ah, that old witch. Well, 
I guess I can give you a discount. Five gold pieces. Between us or each? Between you. Between. If you're traveling as a group, get five right. gold pieces and we'll let you all in. All right, so who's got the money to cough up? You do. Alright, <laughs> here's the thing. I can't even contribute to this because Gig doesn't know. All right. Um, but if all of you, like, pressure him... Yeah, uh, I'll cough up a gold piece. A uh, single gold piece. Wait, because the slide is at the perfect height for Gig, would Lone to have to give it to Gig to give to the dwarf? Yes. Okay. Alright. There you go, Gig. Don't drop this. <laughs> he looks slightly offended. Um... I'll pass one and then I'll, he, give, I'll pass one. Um, and he, it, because he's unsure what to do, he starts um, putting the gold pieces through the looker <laughs> like you letters the into in a letterbox. Ah, fucking killing you there, boy. He takes the gold pieces. I'm sorry. Whatever, just come on in. He, he calls the shutter, bangs on the door, and they open. And as you look in, you just see houses and buildings made of gold. Why did you gold then? <laughs> must I didn't know whether to main name drop Sebastian or the Druid. I was like, which one would be better? Probably the Druid. And that's where we're going to end yeah. the session for this evening. Yeah. Right. Oh my god. Yeah, it's like, I, I didn't know who to name drop, whether if it was Sebastian. It was yeah. like a 50 50 between Sebastian and the Druid, and I'm like, yeah. maybe well, the yeah. Druid might be a better name drop. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, the Sebastian thing is, okay. only met the Druid. Okay, so. Yeah. yeah thank Sebastian you guys maybe. for tuning in on the stream, if you're watching, if you're not. Oh, you're um, not no, let's Christmas. check. Hope you guys there, oh, oh no, there have been people watching. Hope you guys enjoy. Oh, I was a bit sad. <laughs> it's sad. For, okay, I'll explain after this. Trip. And thank, and I'll <laughs> see you all next week. Bye bye. Mm, goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye stream. <laughs> Whilst I stop streaming and recording, good night.